Yeah, I, I don't know how that kind of war it would uh, pan out. I think it would not be uh, good for my health, I will say this. I don't think so either. It wasn't uh, my decision, but uh, uh, it was a complicated issue. And uh, lots of words were spoken and uh, almost had a gunfight. And I guess you would not call it war, maybe just a gunfight, perhaps. Right. Gunfight, war, it's all the same. Uh, it still ends the exact same. Someone dies or gives up. You yeah. notice someone dies. Yeah. Well, it looks like uh, we have the cover of nightfall as well as the rain is stopping. We should make our way north if you'd like to see what I have planned. Sure. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. That stew is good. Good. His bananas are helping me for sure. I found uh, quite a few uh, distilleries. And, uh, really? Yeah. I don't... Mm -hmm. There's a lot of little buildings that uh, have these uh, distilleries right inside. We can mm -hmm. definitely run across them, but I, to actually pinpoint exactly where they are is still a little bit uh, difficult for me. Right. Well, we could do our best. And if you plan on being here for the time, I also plan on being here for the time. What I saw at the gun shop in town is uh, $75 for a cattleman. Also, um, uh, what was it, uh, $175 for a... Uh, carbine. A, a carbine repeater, yes. Yeah. It's a uh, extremely expensive and very limited options. Well, that's good. I do know that uh, to have some sort of gun runner, I would say, Mr. Cole. Yeah, that's true. You know the bar we just leave from. Yes. Is a Mr. Uh, uh, Captain Henderson. I know of this man. I don't know him well. I know of the man as well. Okay. Always speaking of. The ocean, we see the boats over all the same. Yeah. I wonder if he has any gun running going on. I don't know. Likely does. I've not seen him. The first time I met him, I actually robbed him. Hmm. Give me that man named Pip. Pip, yeah. I've heard the name. No, I've not met the man named Pip. He's a good, good enough fellow, I guess. He runs with the Bad company, but uh, oh well. Not good enough for them. Unless we all are good enough fellows that just run with bad company. Yeah, in my case, yeah, maybe. Mm. Not certain this place is very safe. Looks like it could have been made for someone, not necessarily for a home, to keep the rain off their heads, but definitely a place to hold defense against someone else. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yes. So, where is it? Uh, you you have a place in mind you want to go? Or just... Uh... I do, yes. It's okay. north of here. It's quite a trek, though. But it's... Safe enough away that I don't know if many people will make the walk unless they understand uh, the ingenuity of riding a donkey. <laughs> Maddie. Damn, I swore I heard a dog or something. Yes, it sounded like some sort of dog. And there is a... Um, uh, do you have... Uh, you know how to make a torch, yes? Is it flint? Yep, yep, flint and five sticks, yep. Flint and five sticks, very well. There is a cave here. Uh, east. Oh, no, north, actually. By the town. Oh, well, maybe that's good. I should probably make my way there. I don't have a mining pick. But either way, that's something I should maybe do. Is invest in some torches. I, yep. I did not have a 
do not have a lantern. It is quite the walk, I must, I must remind you. Well, that's fine. Yesterday, these old bones got a lot of exercise. Hmm. Yeah, and then I laid around for quite a long time, and uh, now I'm feeling quite better. So, I'm good to go. Of course, yes, you're laying off the side of a cliff, yes. Yeah, you know, uh, up, if you keep following this beach, we will get to a boat. Yeah, this boat, if you get into it, it will take you far, far north. You know of this? I do know of this. That's where okay. we're going. Ah, okay. And in there, if you keep going north, and there is a rust boat in the uh, cape. And uh, just across the cape, up the cliff side, there is another home which has a distillery. Yes, yes. Also, uh, corn in the field. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Good. I was uh, wondering what the big deal is with this home, or this homestead with the corn field. Now I think I understand what it is. I think, from what I understand. Is that will be a hot spot for uh, uh, those of us who are like-minded and those of us who are of the same uh, m mindfulness. Uh, meaning, if you and I are partners in making this moonshine rounds, then there are going to be others who will also want to take and hold and secure that area for themselves. The thing is, I think we're going to have to do our best to secure it the most and best way we can by providing our own security for it. Do you understand? Yeah, you don't wish others to uh, have access to this. Why would I? Yeah. That would be bad business. Yes, of course, there's always the, uh, the opportunity of making friends or uh, having one... Uh, <laughs> I believe this place is a little bit different. There is, what, militia that holds uh, law here? And when I say law, I mean that in most... Uh, quotative terms. <laughs> yeah, th this... Um, not sure of all the politics yet, but it appears this way. It appears that the militia... Why don't you and I make the politics? Mm. I'm not very good at politic. Well, then don't worry. I usually have a short temper. <laughs> I am well versed in politics. How are you worry, Mr. Cole? Yeah, what was that? Nary you worry. Oh. Yeah, where I come from, politic is... is a game. It's a game of... Uh, and if you say chess, then you are... You are more like Kevin than I thought. Uh, I wasn't going to say, say chess. I was going to say... <laughs> I was going to say a game that you, they play until the words fail them, and then war. And then war, yes. Not a very good chess player, you want to know why? Why? Uh, chess is a game that is meant for someone who knows all the moves. You see, they're knowing all possible outcomes. You could tell a good chess player or a poor chess player from the first couple of moves they make on the board. That is not my style. I don't wish to calculate and understand how everything is going to go. Because I... Uh, nothing in life happens the way you plan. Like a chessboard. Do you understand what I mean? I do understand this, yes. I find it best to move piece by piece and adjust piece by piece rather than trying to map out every equation possible. Gavin used to do that. Gavin, I assume, still does that. So this Mr. Summers, he think politique is like a chess and uh, he think he knows all the moves. He that is, is his fail. That is his mistake then. That is his mistake and I do not think that way. And it was always the game of uh, you see, checkers, unfortunately, as, as, um, as intermediate and as youthful as the game may be, is a little bit more my style. You move piece by piece, move by move. Uh, there's a very yes. little uh, strategy or mapping what happens next. Yeah, actually, that is more my style too. Quick moves, take your enemy out fast. Retreat fast. Yes, you look at the board, make your move. They make their move, and then you assess again. You don't need to map out three moves ahead. 
Yeah. It's a waste of time and energy. Cross the battlefield and you'll become king. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, yes. If that is your moral your analogy, then fine. King, queen, how would have you? Yes. Knight, rook, it's all the same. But if we are to make money here, I'm sure there is a way. Why would there be a place to make moonshine here? Unless the place here on Guam is a place to make moonshine away from the law. Well, Can you run it back and... I would say that uh, if it's worth the trip, if you can make something different and carry it in bulk back to the crossing, that is where the money will lie. That may be where the money lies, yes. I don't believe people here are going to be very rich. Most will be running from the law. Most will be running from something like me, a problem. That I can't seem to fix. I have little money, nothing major. But uh, yeah, you can make a lot of money, but once slip off a cliff, you'll lose it all. Just like I did almost if you had not come by. So if you are to make something that the crossing does not have, send it back to the crossing. Charge a fortune for it. Instead of just a normal moonshine, which you can make there anywhere, perhaps this is a better way. Oh, perhaps. You know, there are lemons here, lemon trees. Mm -hmm. And when life gives you lemons, you maybe make some sort of other spirit. You make a, yeah, lemon moonshine. And lemon moonshine. Would be delicious. <laughs> I have quite the affinity towards lemons. Not sure why it is. Well, I have no idea how to make uh, this rum. Uh, I would assume it would be cane sugar or the cane syrup, roast it over a fire to make some sort of molasses, caramelize the cane syrup itself, uh, down into a base ingredient, and then potentially use it to then uh, ferment and distill. Because rum is distilled molasses. Yeah. So is there a way perhaps to add the lemon or a, a banana? You can't make drink out of banana, I don't think. Mm, we could figure it out, I'm sure there is. Uh, well, there is uh, uh, the, using the rind, we could probably use it to make the yeast. And then the sugars inside of the banana itself would then be able to create the alcohol. Oh, uh, you know much of this. And the woman. Yeah, true. It wouldn't be, be much of a barman if I didn't. Yeah. I am disappointed, though, that uh, I still have to import uh, most of my opium supplies. There is not much here when it comes to its literally slim pickings. Yeah. Well, here I, in my travel so far, I found one treasure chest, and uh, that's it. And no herbs, nothing, except for lemon trees and the banana. Yeah, the treasure chest had a, had a Mauser, a, a, a pump shotgun. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it only had $16. It had uh, so, uh, one bottle, moonshine, and uh, some tobacco inside. That's it. Yeah, in China we say the fly might not be fat, but there's still meat on it. Hmm. Boat should be nearby, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, oh. oh. This Do you need to get better shoes? Am I still falling? Yeah, in my eyes it looks like it, yes. <laughs> I 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, now you're good. Yeah, you're good now. I'm carrying a little bit too much. So oh. That has to do with it. Yeah, you. I have 12 sugar cane. I have five bottles of cane syrup. And like I said, I've got a full uh, herbalist pouch. Of oh, that can get quite heavy. Yeah, I have a, a large collection of herbs that uh, I don't really use even. Oh, yeah, at the medical clinic. You can get this. Wonderful. Can't wait to turn around and walk off the <laughs> Yes. But you do know of the place I'm talking about. I do. I went there, you know, yesterday I was up in that area and uh, no matter which way I turned, I always ended up back at that house with the cornfield. That's what happened to me too. I was like, oh, time to go back. And then I was like, oh, and I'm in a circle. Yep. Yes, very weird. Then once I followed the torches and I went there again and uh, another time, I don't know, I maybe five or six times, I always ended up back at that house. Uh, if I'm honest, I do think that this is going to be a very hot spot for a lot of activity. Um, there is, of course, the... Uh, like I mentioned before, there is the, the opportunity to make friends and then have everybody work out of the 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 moonshine place and blah 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 but i'm uncertain that is the point yeah well here you can shoot somebody nobody will write a warrant for your arrest it's best to have most control over it and um, it seems real estate here maybe ah. yesterday i also trade, trade means money yeah Yesterday, I also came across uh, what looked to me to be like some kind of headhunter group. I, I did not see the people, but I saw their trophies. Really? Yeah, there were dozens of heads on the shelf, and also more in the cages. Just the heads, nothing more. One was shrunk, very, very small. Mm. Like uh, the size smaller than apple, actually. Yeah. Interesting. That was a. Uh, um, let's see, where are we? West of here, deep in the jungle somewhere. Ah, uh, this is where the boat is, yeah. Well, one thing about this place is it's uh, beautiful. Very quiet. <laughs> uh, for me to fall where I did, and land where I did, and to wait this long of a time. Quite lucky. Yeah, you would think that a tropical paradise like this, uh, maybe more people would be around, but uh, no. Nope. Right, you want to get the oars? Oh, much better than the boat from China. Are there any more boats like that? Yeah, uh, I have not found. This is the only one I have found. Good to know. If you if you do have certain things, uh, maybe not worth too much, you need to store away. Uh, I have opened a storage area here. We're up here. Yeah, it's way down by the town. That's good, because I have a search area up here at this location. So that is helpful. I'm uncertain how much. I feel if I use the mortar and pestle, I'll be able to break down some of the sugar cane into sugar itself and then use that sugar uh, to distill... But I'm uncertain. Yeah, how much of the cane did you bring? Only 12. Oh. 
But we'll see. Maybe it'll break down even farther. One stick is five or something. Yeah, I don't know. Last time I tried to do this, it took me fucking forever. Hmm. I've got nothing but time. Well, if you want to uh, claim this uh, place up here, and if I have nothing better to do, I can uh, assist you with procuring certain items. I would love to claim it, but uh, I think that also involves fighting over it, which I do intend to do if it needs to be done. But, yeah, like I said, I do have storage up here, so I will be operating out of it for as long as I can. I think it's up here. I think I'll be able to walk up there. Oh, nope. <laughs> uh, yeah. The most dangerous thing here is the little tiny hills. Yes, exactly. I have not seen any very... Well, the boars, the wild boars, these are can be quite dangerous. I have not had an unfortunate run with them just yet. Yeah, yesterday I was attacked by three of them. Really? Yeah, they almost put me down. Oh yeah, I do know. Okay, this uh, big bridge... Uh, Somewhere here you can take that, uh, oh, that God forbid, that uh, little wooden pathway up the side of the mountain. Where? No. Oh, that's a, would be a very unique spot to interrogate someone, though. Yeah, I see it. It's right up here. You see it? Yesterday I go up this and uh, well, did not really want to go back down. Oh, this could be useful. Oh, it's occupied. How is it? Yeah, well, they're not going to complain much if you want to spend some time in there. Get up there this way, I would much prefer it. We should be able to. If this is the route I took yesterday.
Okay. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, there's the cotton field. All right, good. Anyone here? Welcome to my abode. Yeah, looks empty. Uh oh. Oh, this must be yours. Uh, a menu of some kind. Well, that was. I, I picked that up from. Uh, from Van Horn. Okay. Back when someone tried to take the bar from me. Oh. Where is the uh, distillery? It should be right where we walk. In. Oh, here it is. Uh oh oh shit. <laughs> there should be bench underneath here as we know. Workbench? Yes. Yeah, I do have uh, five lemons if you want to experiment with them. Oh, now, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit better. Oh, it's been a long time since I make the moonshine. Last time I make it, I make delivery, I get caught. Ah, here you are. You want the lemons? Uh, sure. Couldn't hurt. Not too sour for me. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Right, so that was good news about the sugar cane.
All right, so about the barman here. This is a guy you cannot trust. Ko knows this. And he actually kind of does like Gavin Summers. He's not going to fight anybody to defend this place. I'll hang out for a while. All right, surprise surprise stream attack. So for that uh, surprise stream attack, should probably um, 
do a proper introduction now. So. Wait, 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 how do I do? Ah. Oh, forget it. I'm not going to do the intro. I think I'll do it at the end. What am I doing? Stop that, Co. Mr. Barman. Mr. Barman. Did you slip off a cliff somewhere? I bet he did. Mr. Barman. Barman. Mr. Barman. Where the hell did he go?
I don't think uh, people will come to this far to to uh, have opium, though, unless they're really addicted. Mr. Barman, can you hear me? Are you around? What did you slip off to? Oh, there you are. I'm trying to figure out how to make um, how to make the marsh. It's been a while. I have got um, uh, twenty-four cubes of sugar. I have nineteen ears of corn, and I have a full bucket of water. Right, that sounds familiar. Yes. Uh, yeah. How much sugar was it? Remember, it's like uh, for a full batch, like 250. How many divided by how many bottles is this? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you need uh, anything? I can run, go get you some shit if you need it. Right. I wish I could also go get more sugar cane as well. I don't mind doing that. Okay. It's a good walk, though. Yeah, that's true. Everywhere here is a good walk. Could be. I wonder if uh, do we have to take the beach. Oh yeah, we have to get to the boat to go back to the other side of the bay. Yeah, okay. I don't remember, but I will store some things here. I have a, I have a bunch of dynamite as well. I'm not sure that's going to Oh, be. I got a pair of handcuffs. Good, I've got a log pick as well. They seem to have everything. And I also have four bottles of moonshine, so if you don't, well, you know someone who's thirsty. Okay. Maybe I'll bring that with us just in case. Um, I can maybe sell it to someone if they want. Yeah, how much are you looking to sell it for? Ten dollars a box. Okay. Oh my god, Captain Rubble. Thank you very much. Woohoo! They called for a song. Let's do. No, let's do. There we go, that's a good one. Thanks, Captain Rubble. First raid from you. Appreciate it. 19 players. Ko is back in the crossing. I appreciate it a lot. Oh. If it does, then I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> Damn it. All right, it doesn't. Um, banana, king syrup, lemon, and king's no. Pretty good. Yeah, Ko's back. Back from China. All right. Landed here in Guarma for the crossing. He's still got some shit he's trying to figure out. And, uh... Don't ride a donkey in Guarma. Yeah, that's true. Strange how is a thing is a change, isn't it? I think I will leave. Um, lemons. Yeah, so Pain. yesterday I was riding a donkey and uh, decided to go up instead of taking a right and threw Ko off a cliff. And so I laid there for hours and hours and hours and hours. Um, and uh, the barman came by and picked me up. Oh. I will bring a bunch of corn as well. I have a lot of uh, pocket space. Uh, we can grab quite a bit. Okay. Um, how do we... Yeah, not that way. Oh, like, yeah, maybe this way. I don't know. I don't remember how I got up.
If we go straight this way, it seems promising. I spent most of my time yesterday uh, over, uh, I guess, let me think, uh, northeastern side of the jungle. Uh, yeah. Well, just a lot of little houses. There are more of these distilleries around, like I told you before. But, yeah, but uh, only one with a cornfield. But I wonder if, if you were to make uh, this rum, which now you know, Saints Crossing, uh, from what I hear, has no longer has any rum. Yeah. But I would think the transportation of these goods back to the crossing is going to be rather difficult and very expensive to uh, for people to buy. Yep. But how much how much are people willing to pay? That is a huge question. It's a huge question, but I guess that's the part of the market. Um, if I was a business owner, which I had been before, people will pay. Oh, I'd be the only person with a valuable thing, which would be the rum. Mm. Uh, I would say the Bastille would be quite uh, interested. Right, I'll take the uh, front. Very well. Okay, so who is uh, Percy? Yeah, myth is awesome. Yeah, I heard I heard that before. If there was a way that uh, we could transport more rum back to crossing, I mean, the most a person can bring is uh, what uh, twenty bottles if they have nothing carry nothing on their person. Is it one bot you can? Uh, yeah. Yes, yep. One. I don't. Right. No, you it's, you have to cover at least five hundred dollars in the in the cash. Ah, oh, oh, cool! I'll let us meet him. Interesting. Yeah, so you're looking maybe what forty dollars at the very least per bottle to. Even uh, make just a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. I think people will be willing to pay that. Um, if, if, if someone slid a bottle of guama rum over to me or a glass of guama rum over to me at a, a meeting, I would know that they are being serious with what we are talking about. You're true. Best if you could find a mule to bring it back and forth. And then uh, someone in the crossing willing to distribute it. But then, of course, uh, they're going to want more. Uh, oh. What the fuck? Have I been away so long I can't even shoot a snake? <laughs> God damn it! There you go. At first you don't succeed, use a knife. I don't know what this thing is. But whatever. Oh, cheese and cracker. That's one of my favorite snacks. I, I, I do cheese crackers, saltines or something like that. Salty crackers. And then uh, uh, switch it between that and peanut butter. Well, thanks, Captain Rubble. I really appreciate the raid. Hope you're having a good day. It's probably you're getting offline now, but uh, hope to see you soon in game. It's a nice little shack on the beach. Have you looked in here? Okay. Yeah, 
You know, there is a... Um, oh. There's a, I know one for sure, above the waterfall, where the mine is, this is where another distillery is. Um, Closer to the town. I believe it's called a cigar bar or something. Cigar bar? Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm interested. Where is this? It? It's above the waterfall, uh, where the, you know where the mine is? I, I, can, I can try and show you. Well, then you lose the cornfield, depending on what you need to make whatever it is you're going to make. Uh, right, yeah. Now we'll lose the cornfield. But, uh, also, uh, I don't mind tending bar. Yeah, we'll see. It's, uh, if I... It's a hard market if you're going to run moonshine. If you could run moonshine here in Guam. Huh? Well, oh, well, man. It, it yes. If you want just distilling to then ship it to the crossing, then I don't think it is. No, and uh, I think uh, this is just me talking, and I am no businessman. Not really. Uh, but if everyone here, if there's more than one distillery, and uh, most people who come here will either be outlaw, a criminal, running from something, they most likely have experience making a moonshine. Right. They'll make it themselves, drink it for very cheap. Uh, yeah. There are a lot of interesting uh, things here in Guam that I am uncertain were. Uh, uh, not sure the word. Like a lot of, there's a lot more opportunity that could have been made than what there is, if you understand. Yeah. Well, you need people too. And uh, so far, I have only met you. I met uh, a man named Morgan uh, Lee. Um, who else I meet? There was a several amount of people at the, um, yesterday in town. I walked by me and say a word, but were well, about three or four. Mm. Surprised I didn't get robbed, but well, probably it will be honeymooners too. Vacation people. These people should get robbed. Honeymooners didn't even think of that. Probably get here. Be really scared. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right it's dangerous. Fucking donkeys. They're the most dangerous thing. Yes. I am interested in this cigar bar for certain. Especially if you were saying there are other distilleries. If there was only one, I would say this is a prime location, but if there are several others, then that doesn't seem... Yeah, for sure, there are at the least... I wish I should have paid more attention to this yesterday. But I know it, I saw at least uh, four distilleries. Four distilleries? At least, yeah. Thank God. Well, what you could do if you want to be a businessman is you'd hire some people to then... Uh, camp out in that location with the cornfield and if every time you see somebody there you charge them fifty dollars there you go if you want to fill your pockets it's fifty dollars and if they disagree then you shoot them yeah it's that simple that's not a bad idea fifty dollars isn't so much but if everyone's doing it then it's the only place to get corn then then maybe worth doing Uh, Maybe I'll take care of it. But luck, knowing my luck, there will be other cornfields on this island, and then that will be uh, that would then screw the pooch. Uh, I have not seen any yet, but of course uh, I have not covered everything yet. Hmm. Yeah, look at these wild pigs. Hmm. Good eating, I'm sure. Yeah, that one looks like he's uh, hungry. No, all right, they're going away.
From what I've heard, they're very territorial. If you want to sneak up on them or walk in their path, they will then attack. But if you are just minding your own business, they won't. Yeah, yesterday I fired the, my navy six times. Hit the six times. It did not even. They just ran away. <laughs> I don't know. What else would they be? Maybe a very old giant bird, maybe. Look at the mouth. Yeah, only bad thing about uh, up there at the cornfield, it's a big long walk back and forth. I think I think the uh, the most important uh, just me talking again. Remember, I am no businessman, but uh, what is it the crossing does not have? Well, we know that it does not have the rum. Correct. So, if we can figure out how to make this product, if we could make rum, I I would most certainly like to create rum and then operate out of whatever this cigar bar is you hope you saw. I do want to see it because I'm, I'm very much of an aesthetics man. If, if there is no one running that bar, I could definitely do that. And if we are creating and running rum out of that bar, then we are in the money. Yep, there you go. The thing is, though, I would have to then. Well, I could give you a bunch of my things. I could then walk up and grab my things and then move it. Yeah, this, this place up here also is. Uh... Uh, let's check this place out. Did I see distillery here? I don't remember. Of course. You said Mr. Henderson owns this. Not, not this one. The one in front of it. Uh, further away. Oh, what's this one? The, the, the poker here? This one looks more... No, uh, that... Wait, hang on. It might be. It might be getting confused. <laughs> but I think this one is the restaurant. No, I think this one is the poker. In the restaurant. Far ahead, if I don't let me look here. Yes, this one has a poker. Yeah, no distillery here. Just a big open place, looks like it could be a restaurant of some kind. So this one is the poker, I guess. Hmm, yes. I wouldn't assume this would have distillery in it, unless it's underneath. Ah, I should have paid more attention yesterday. Now you know to keep your eye out for. There's not no big deal. Yeah. Every time I, I try to. What is what? The buy in. Oh, I don't know. I looked myself. I would say I I would bet it's ten dollars. If it isn't, then someone somewhere is, uh, has had too much to drink. Got ten dollars, you're right. Mm, not, not right. In this economy, I don't see it being anything else. That was weird. Long walks back and forth to Guarma, baby. 
I mean, to the downtown Guarma, whatever it's called. Oof. So you, you used to uh, work with um, this Gavin Summers, yes? Have we known each other long enough for you to tell me what happened there? Uh, yes, uh, the, man is, um, the man is a lunatic. And we've known each other long enough to let you know that he's simply, like I said, uh, viewed politics a chess game and he thought he knew all the correct moves. And then when a move is done in front of him uh, that he could not predict, he would then uh, uh, slowly go mad. And we were, of course, the ones in his uh, gang back then that would have to pay the consequences and fight his wars. Whether it was with the Dicenzo, or whether it was with uh, Jack Kettleman. Yeah. It also seemed that uh, our beef would become his beef. Uh, which was always uh, a frustrating. Um, uh, Wesley Shields, a uh, man that I get along with now and we respect each other now. But at, uh, Really? Oh, okay. At uh, one time I put a bullet in his face uh, for his, uh, for he shot me in the back. I figured a bullet for a bullet would be a nice uh, reminder, but at the time it was also... Uh, Gavin, who uh, brought him to me and said, uh, you can uh, you have your way and chat with him all you want, but I have something I must do first. And I said, what is it that you have to do that is better than me, Gavin? And he shot me in the back. Oh. I said, well, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. And then he just let me have him. It was just, it seemed like it was a very much a Gavin thing than it was. And, well, that is also a very small thing as opposed to all of them. Everything else, the man would make uh, large leaps of uh, tactical errors and strategical um, uh, misinformation. Yeah, uh, sounds like a... All of us, but it was always just a misstep, constant misstep after misstep, and then never owning up to it. You know, things like that. Sound, like leaders, sound a little bit like my boss. Mm, not really. In a way, I guess, but in a way, no. I am part of an organization that has a leader. I think uh, the setup, yeah, the setup is much different. Uh, more than gun store. A very, uh, very old organization, let's put it that way. Will. It is part of the reason why I'm here, trying to figure out what my next move is when it comes to my boss. Well, if you like a little bit of advising, I would not mind lending an ear free of charge. Well, there are certain things I can't tell you. But I did, and the word was to get out, I would lose my head. But there are things that I can't tell you. Well, you could hold hold it for a moment. We're not sure who's here. Yeah. If anyone. Hello. Yeah, you want to take a break for a drink here, or...? Sure. Could probably sell the snake before it brought on my shoulder. <laughs> well, we can go into town first, then. Let's find these, uh, right. the guard barns. Yes, yes. 
I've changed my name to the Sagan. <laughs> I was thinking of changing my name to uh, the Guam. And the Gua oh, the Guarman. That is not bad. That would imply that you are a permanent resident here, then. Oh, yes. Which is say. Just as long enough where I can. No, I could take that on back. The Guarman Barman. <laughs> Uh, a little bit. Interesting. I'm not sure how I could go up this ladder with a snake. But, uh, oh, yeah. This might be difficult. Yay, there you go. First try. I uh, let's say next move. You don't need to tell me about your balls, but what is your conundrum? Let me say that uh, I have given everything from my own blood and the flesh uh, to more material things, including gems. Shh. Never once have I ever uh, faltered uh, from support. Right, so it's we, not yeah, well, it came into a question a while back. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh no! There goes your snake. He put me to a question a while back because of a decision I make. You see, I am a man bred for war. That's all I have known my entire life, basically. I don't know too much about the business, although I do try. But he questioned not only my loyalty, he questioned my motives. At a time that... Um, it was very difficult to get through. And I took a stand because I, I'm not a yes man. Oh, this way. I'm not a yes man, you see. And he liked to surround himself sometimes by yes men and ladies. Yes, I know this very well. And this made me more angry, so I confronted him in front of everyone. Telling him that uh, what he's doing it was foolish, selfish, and wrong. He did not like this very much. Oh, yeah, what's the matter here? I can't get over this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so he was more concerned, though, about the loss of face than he was of imminent danger at the time. And then part of us, if it also was uh, when he should have, because I was injured very badly, uh, nearly died. And while I was recuperating, the threat was not finished yet. I think the butcher's over this way. And uh, yet, instead of uh, preparing the people uh, for war, for conflict, uh, finding a safe house and uh, whatever, he was going on little mining trips, trying to make money, and uh, collecting gems. That was the most important thing to him. And to this, I took a, a huge uh, problem with. Much to the point where I uh, nearly challenged him to a fight. And why didn't you? He's my boss. And to do this is an act of rebellion in my country is one of the worst sins you can commit. I and if... bread for war. Yeah, but some traditions are very difficult to break. I came close to it, but I decided not to. And uh, 
I left, went back to China. I went back to uh, help uh, my organization, but also to try and think of what way I have forward. Do you know what your way is forward? Are they still in the crossing? No, I don't know yet. Hmm. All right, I've grabbed uh, what I've needed to. Uh, we are here getting sugar cane and seeing a cigar bar. Yeah, so the sugar cane is right up above us, of course, but uh, yes, yes. you want to go there first or do you want to go to the... Uh, let's do cigar bar first. Okay. And then we can go get sugar cane on the way back when and if we feel like doing that. Sure. Never had a guano. Yeah, good shot. Thank you. Because I haven't, I don't know if you're going to pay me for it. Yeah, if they eat lizard meat here, then I'm <laughs> I'm a little worried about this too. I'd like to see how much a bird can make. Oh, there's someone here. Miley. Is that you? Holy shit, you look different. How are you, Piley? What are you doing here? I see. Stop before the crossing. I have returned. From what? From China. That's not what I asked you. It, what do you mean, from what? What have you accomplished? Oh. Well, hopefully, word has already gotten back. I found the people that uh, uh, Zhang Wei was supposed to yes, report to. And they settled everything. And what? This is penance? This is payment for your mistakes? My mistakes? Yes, your mistakes. What about the mistakes that Zhang Wei make? He hasn't broken any oaths. Oh, really? It could be argued he has broken three. If you're the one arguing, yes. The one time he came close to one, I sat him down and I forced him to make a pact with me. And since that day, he has no longer made that issue. Every time that you've made a mistake, you've done it with your heart. Agreeing that you shouldn't have done it, but that you believed in it. And that you were willing to take any punishment, regardless of death. Yeah, that is the way I do things. Before you left, you caused a lot of issues. Yeah, and rightfully so too. He was surrounding himself with yes men and ladies, going off on the mining trips, paying no attention to the people's lives and their welfare. I stood up to him and said this is wrong. You stood up to him in front of everyone. Yeah, and he was more concerned about the fucking loss of face than he was of the truth. That's at at least are. my truth. Don't tell me, after Fuck returning from the homeland, that you are unfamiliar with the power of face. I know all about face, and I'm fucking tired of it. When it's so life and do death, what does face now? mean? I don't know. I'm going to be staying here for a while, trying to figure things out, but... Uh, 
Let's we'll see. The first thing he's going to ask of you is is uh, your thoughts and your actions. And I'm going to be very blunt. If you do not approach him before he asks you anything, and you do not go to him and apologize and admit defeat, and, 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 and yes, Cole, apologize. <laughs> uh, yes, some apologies for me too. He should say. If you keep that attitude, Saints Crossing will be a very dangerous place for you, Cole. So you're threatening me now. Don't behave like an infant. Oh, fuck, you know what Bailey. What the fuck? You don't know the full story. You don't know everything. Several accounts. You want to give me your account, Cole? Of course I do. In fact, I wanted to give it to you the day before I leave for China. You took one look at me and said, yeah, I know all the truth now. Oh. I didn't take any look at you. In fact, you refused to speak to me. I, I did. I said, hello, Bailey. How are you doing? Right by the post I'm office. Sorry. I had just woken up from a coma. I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't hear you. Your exact, exact words to me were, yeah, I know. The, my eyes are wide open. That's what you said. Perhaps your brain is fried in the sun. No. It's more clear than ever. But yeah. Is it the old age, Cole? <laughs> I'm not that old. Come on. All right, my knees are hurting from yesterday. I was running up and down these hills. And I don't, don't ride donkeys, by the way. A very dangerous animal. I prefer to uh, tire out these older knees than ride a donkey again. It threw me off a cliff. I told it to go straight. It went right and threw me off a cliff. Uh, hang on a second. Sorry. Hey, Bailey, you remember the barman, yes? Mr. Charles? Uh, the barman right here. If we want to talk, maybe uh, we're going to go up to the cigar bar and find this place. Would you like to talk more there with us? All we have here is time on this island. What is there to think about? Are you asking me? Are you asking him? You. I was. Uh, I met uh, <laughs> the barman here. He actually is the one who found me. Got me on my feet again. And so we were heading up to the cigar bar to uh, check it out. Well, Fei Long is here, but he's sleeping back at camp. Fei Long is here. Ah, oh, that is good. So either you two go to the cigar bar and I go get him and bring him, or we all go to camp. Let's go mm -hmm. to the cigar bar and I'll keep your privacy to yourself. I don't wish to know where any camps are of anyone. I'm going to go get Fei Long. Okay, I'll meet you there then. Alright. You know, we both going the same way. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, kind of. Hey, Bailey. Bailey. Oh, fuck. No, no. Hang on a second. That damn dog again. Hey, no! Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, it's the guard bar. It's above the waterfall, uh, above the mines. I yes. Know where it is. Yeah, I I yes. went there, but I don't exactly remember. It, this it this way. Just above the waterfall. Okay. If you follow the western side of the the river to the waterfall. You'll find a platform with a ladder that goes up a hill. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I know. All right. 
I don't know where this is. Yeah, All right. I'm pretty sure. I know I happened upon it yesterday. We'll walk with you until we find it. To be break off or something. It's Vane's cigar bar. Oh, Vane. Vane is here too. Yes. Ah, very good. Yes, uh, someone already has it. I have no doubt that uh, he'd take on another bartender. Can't be in Guama all the damn time. Oh, crap. Some of us have no choice. Yes, well, I'm here on a business venture, among other things. And what's the business, if you don't mind me asking? Well... The profitabilities of the mine and, and uh, fruits and, and how many we could carry them back, and mm. guns, and there's little to no damn economy here, so it's uh, very difficult. Well, the one thing that sticks out to me is the trade for weaponry. Uh, $75 for a cattleman, 175 for a... Uh, carbine repeater is just outrageous. Yes, and you don't make much money on this island. I was thinking I'd bring larger caliber weapons onto the island and sell them for a trumped up charge. I mean, you'd have to to make it worth the price of travel, but. Yes, but people, of course, have to have the money here to do it. Maybe after a while, people will have more money. Oh, of course, once people have put figured out the island, yes. I don't know where I'm going, I'm just following a trip. Yeah, it's a, I think across the river here, yes, Bailey? Or should we go... Yes, yes, just follow... Once you get on the west, uh, the south side of the river, just follow, keep the river to your left. I need to head deeper into the forest. <laughs> have you met the doctor yet? Uh, doctor? He wears a bullhorn mask. Sounds like he got an English accent. Very gruff man. Oh, and he's doctor. That's great. Yes, he's. Yeah, I fell down and bruised my knee. Okay, let me cut your leg off. <laughs> yes, I was speaking to him about all of that. I told him I had iodine in my medical bag, and he said uh, he laughed at me as if this was some kind of luxury. <laughs> that's good to know. Also, the doctors is. Banana peels. That's going to be how we how we live. Yes. Also, if you get injured, might as well treat yourself while you're injured, because the trek up to the doctors is days long. Yeah, it takes a, it's a very... He told me that uh, he, he's put it so far away because he doesn't like to interact with people. Well, that's a, that's a great thing for a doctor to be. Yes, he said he was an outlaw. He said um, he's been on the island since um, since a sheriff called Sheriff Timers hung all of his gang and he went on the run oh i met sheriff timers once he's an old old motherfucker sheriff timer i never heard of you well i need to split off from you too so just to go off the track here or keep going up and then turn yes yeah, just keep the river to your left go okay the waterfall. okay see you soon Armin. Armin. I'll tell you what. Yeah, so... I know up here it's not going to be really easy getting up, but uh, all right, that was very strange, strange meeting. Yeah, very fortuitous. We we're serendipitous. We were just talking about him. Yeah. You and Bai Lee don't get along very well. Uh, no, we do actually. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! 
I've known him since he was a little boy. Right. Well, I know you've worked together before. I didn't know uh, where I wouldn't know much, really. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine, but uh, I don't know. We de definitely need to have a big talk. So, how to get up here? This is not the way I came. All right. I think uh, we have to go this way. Maybe here. Yeah. No. No. There's bananas here. Yeah, banana. I found a big field of bananas here yesterday. It's very far away though. Looks like there's some sort of trail here. Okay, yeah, this is the platform he was talking about right here. Cigars. There we go. So, let's see. There's a torch over here. Hmm. There are two torches. Yeah, another one up here. Ah, another one. Okay, we're going the right way, I think. This far away from the waterfall, but maybe, maybe this is the way to that. We go above the waterfall, we can look down and likely see it. There's a torch over here. See it. Another lit torch. I think I came here from the medical clinic and I found it, I think. There's a board to our right. Oh, yeah. You look very friendly. Right, what do you want? You want a piece of this? Come on. Look at that. Five bullets, at least five bullets, right in the face. And he doesn't even flinch. No, these things are. Well, actually, don't know if shotgun ammo. Don't know if the ammo, what ammo looks like at the gun shop. Ah, oh, this is it. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Hot food and liquor. Lydia and Rubio. There is the distillery on the roof. Yep. A lot of notes here. I guess someone is running this place, that's for sure. Why did he say it was vain? Vain. Yep. It looks like it's in a good working order. Oh. Hello.
be <laughs> this will be interesting talk. It seems like it would be. What you say? It would be dangerous for me in the crossing with the fuck. I think he said that it would be. Yes, I believe it said it would be. Or could be dangerous. Yeah. All because of face. Some traditions are good to keep. Some customs are good to keep too. Some not so much. Oh look, there's a dead person laying down there. That one's really dead though. So what do you think of this place? Okay, Mr. Barman. Uh, yes. Oh, here you go. I picked this up over at the uh, beach uh, bar. Oh, thank you. Uh, I think this place is quite nice. I'm not entirely uh, a large fan of it being oh. so open air, but that's only because I'm worried about people onlookers. But. Very close to the town. Oh, wonderful, wonderful view, that's for sure. Yeah. It is rather close to the town. The only thing that I would say, if you are going to be making something that can be sold in the crossing, is uh, find something that uh, the crossing does not have, something that uh, can be sold, of course, for a large amount of money. Wow, this rum is a kick to it. And uh, if this is the case, and you don't need the corn to make rum, which I don't know if you do or not, then maybe the cornfield is not that uh, important. Ooh. Yes, it's, uh, it's uncertain. <sighs> I don't think I enjoy this place. I mean, like, I, it's very nice. I wouldn't mind having a drink and having us being an evening here, but. The fact that it's on a cliffside and with such high winds and storms at least. Yeah, this broken balcony here. Someone get drunk very easy for them to slip off. Very easy yes, exactly. And uh, it's a matter of time before someone jumps off or whatever the hell it is. It looks like a pirate's pick, perhaps. Oh, there is piano here, though. There's a body down there. Oh, really? I'm, I'm drunk right now. I'm not going to walk up too close. Don't, don't do that. Oh, that's a rum as a kick. <clears throat> is that, is that the long? Ah, the fatal. Good to see you again. No need to stand on such a ceremony, though. No, I guess not. Have you been? I'm still alive. My wounds are better. I was able to take care of the business for Taipan. In China. 
decided to come back. This is where they dropped me off. I don't know why. Let me guess, were they Americans? Yeah, uh, Captain was he. I think so. I did not talk to him, but... Uh, this is where they drop a... Uh, me, I don't know why. How have you been? Not bad. Yeah, pretty much it, just not bad. Business has been going well. That is good to hear. It's been a long few months, and the uh, Bailey is looking most tense right now. Yeah. Don't exactly blame me. Well, you've come to listen to my story. Yeah. Or have you already made up your mind? If I had made up my mind, Cole, you wouldn't be breathing. Oh, yeah, no. After all this time, how long have you known me, Riley? Cole, your old mind struggles to conceive. The simplest of notions sometimes, you know. Yes, I've known you for a very long fucking time, hence why I'm speaking to you and not stabbing you. If I hadn't known you for a long time, that's what would be happening. I give you every fucking chance. I will always give you every chance. But you recognize the position you put yourself in. It was a position that I deemed unnecessary. And yeah, I know the risks. I knew it then, I know it now. Let's sit down. Is there a place to sit down here? Uh, kind of. Could always sit down at the bar. Yeah, that place might be better. Oh, shit. I bet this place is made of really flimsy wood. The water is loud. What? Is this chair broken? Oh, there we go. Right, can you hear me over there, fellow? Mm -hmm. All right. What does this go back to? In such a long time. For me, though, it starts at a meeting. It actually starts long, long before this. It starts back in the desert during the first war. We were down there fighting the Yakwai. Jongwei came to pull us out. He say he make the peace. And this day I thought about saying, no, I am not going. But I knelt before him, gave him obeisance. And said, as long as you swear to me on this day, in front of all these witnesses, that Jack Cattleman will die. Then I will go. To this he made a solemn oath to me. That he would do this. I think out of all the groups in the crossing, we have been in conflict with the cattlemen longer than anyone. And now, yes, uh, you are able to arrange a kind of peace with him, I guess. That is fine. I don't wish to do conflict with him. But what I can't stomach 
It's him doing business with him. That is what I, I cannot. And this is a part of uh, my worries right now. I approach Zhang Wei and I ask him about this before I leave. And he said, yeah, he is using him. And like I did for a short time. To try to be able to get a knife to his throat. Before our major conflict, the last one started. I don't believe though that Zhang Wei will be able to use him because this group of people yeah, they're not like you and me, like the others. They sense anything is wrong, they'll shoot first, ask a question later. That is part of it. The other part is when the military arm of our organization was here after they attack you by the after they attack me. I appointed you, Feilong, to take charge of the war effort. This was not a wrong thing to do. Yeah, I should have told the Zhang Wei, but I did not see him, plus I was in great pain. Well, this is, yeah, okay, I make a mistake, but at the same time, with a group like that running around, no organization still going off to do trips into the mines and for gems and for the Bausher bands, not taking things seriously. That this was. This has to go on, Cole. Yes, it has to go on. But you have to arrange the things first. You have to arrange a proper defense. You have to arrange the guards. You have to. Ar 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 you have to. A range of training. Fei Long, as intelligent and capable as he is, was not the man to do that. There was Wei no one was else. Spearheaded in gunfight. That was Wei is there, Cole. <laughs> Whoa. And you think he can lead everyone to war? I think he can strategize, yes. I think Fei Long can lead people into war. We know what you did was a mistake because of Fei Long's mistake shortly thereafter. With Ming. Now this is a part two where I disagree. To an extent. In hindsight, yeah, it's easy to say who is right and who is wrong. And I have turned uh, many people. One, tie, one day they were working as spy for this group. The next day I catch them and I turn them the other way. Work for us. In the past. This is a very simple military strategy. Not military. Intelligence strategy. And actually, what he did by not telling everyone, I thought was a genius move. Of course, I don't know how long it was uh, before you told uh, the Zhang Wei, the Fei Long. I assume it was not very long. For me, it took me, well, five minutes before I saw Zhang Wei that day is when I found out that she was still alive. For this, I had no idea. The people who should have been informed was you, me, and Wei. The fact that he did not inform Wei was a massive mistake. Yeah, you and me, okay, we were hurt. You were in coma. Okay, so everything defaults to way as it has. It's insubordination, Cole. It's taking the man who should know everything above all else and hiding major facts. Things that could be a detriment to our future. Yeah, as long as, uh, as long as, how long was it, Fei Long? Before I told Wei? Yeah. After that meeting where I told Wei. 
And was it the same day or? So how long was he to? I'm confused. But okay, how long was it from when you did this thing with the Ming until you told Zhang Wei? It was about a day. A day. And then you, we had this meeting where I was at, where you told us that uh, she was dead. Yes. And then right after this, you told Zhang Wei. Well, after that, I told him we needed to talk. He had some business to take care of. But it was at the same day. Oh, was this the meeting where you insulted and disgraced him in front of the company? No. No, no, no. So a different one. Mm -hmm. So I make a defense of the Feilong. This day you say I disgraced Zhang Wei, which I did nothing of the sort. He admitted to his mistakes. Yeah, I know. You remember that conversation? Conversation I had up on the mountain before we fought the law. Before I issued the challenge. You remind me. When I shot at Xiao Sheng to test her, and then of course she began to uh, threaten me and insult me. Oh, yes. We had a conversation about structure. At the very basis of that structure is weight. You insult him, you disregard his wishes, you tell him he's wrong in front of every person. Every person as as you two people. have done many times before, Bailey. Not in front of Yes, people. you have. In fact, a few days before this, in the streets of Saint Denis, you did with a lot of people around. Then the Taipan, everyone was there. And you've done it before too. But this is not important to me. A loss of face when a man like myself with experience in certain areas. My point was not to make him lose face. But when he stands there, me with pus pouring out of my side and questions my loyalty and my resolve. This is where the core of the problem exists. You did the exact same thing to me a minute to go. Let's keep our stories on this. I don't understand what you're saying, but let's keep us. Let's that mix up the stories here. This is where the core of my problem is. When all of these other little problems, which I could overlook, which I have overlooked uh, for quite some time, but when he sit there, stand there, point at me in front of everyone. Before I even say one word at this meeting, he questions my loyalty. He questions my resolve. As he should. And he also say I break oath, which I have not done. Not once. You have. No, I have not. Tell me one. Call you, you Tell me one. Have. Tell me one, Bailey. You put your head on the chopping block in front of way for months on end. Because you know you've made mistakes. Did I, did I break the oath? I, words. As are words. Bailey, it is not action. The oaths were not broken. Words and action are two different things. You can look at it this way, yes. But I believe in certain things very strongly. And with, with merit, too. No. Things that I, I think the society should be going in one way. And there's disagreement. Most things I let slide. Okay, the majority say this. Maybe. Maybe. Honor to your family is one thing, but honor to, to every swinging dick that ever offered you something or was kind to you. you no. Can't survive that way, Cole. Of course not. You think I'm fool? You think this is actually the way I work? No. But when he st when he stand there and accuse me, uh, the person who has bled and almost died repeatedly, who has given everything, including material value, 
including my own body and self. And he accused me of not being loyal, of no resolve. Uh, is your issue the fact that he accused you of not being loyal despite him having solid evidence? You understand what the word insubordination means? For you, what you are saying now is loss of face. That is your big issue. Lots of Taipan was around, I make him lose a face. He make me lose a face. It's a major decision you made without his knowledge. Which one resulted in someone's death who shouldn't have died. Who? What? What decision? Me. You put Fei Long ahead. You gave him that has nothing decision. to do with this. Me putting Fei Long the night I was shot. Fei Long in charge temporarily. Because both of us were out. That was my decision that night. Yeah, I did not tell Wei. This is a mistake of mine. Yes. I have already told him this too. And what about this dealing with Jade Ming? This I have no idea anything about. I did not, I did not even know where she was. I knew nothing about her except that, uh, let me think, what uh, Fei Long told me in the meeting that he had killed her. I knew nothing else. No other news came to my ears. So this is a two different issue. In the night I appointed Fellow, the second in command temporary. Because there is nobody else. The way was not around. I was nursing my wounds. You were in the coma. I do this because I saw no other way, and of course, yeah, I it's a mistake. Yeah, but also, skipping ahead to the meeting where he accused me of being disloyal. He also accused Fei Long of the same thing. This got me very angry because Fei Long is a man who has bled and rode and ridden and almost died for us repeatedly too. And yet he questioned him and his resolve and his loyalty. To make a wrong decision is one thing, but to question a man's purpose is quite another. When a Feilong has done nothing but prove himself to us time and time again. Wrong decisions lead to questions of loyalty, Cole. That's just... It depends on what it is. But a man's, my loyalty, my resolve, should never fucking be questioned. Loyalty is another thing, resolve is another. Cool. For months on end, you have deliberately disobeyed Wei, and then come to him and said, if you want to take my head for it, take my head. What? When? What have I disobeyed? Name one thing that I have done to disobey. Have you lost your memory? Tell me. You're telling me you've never knelt down in front of Wei and said, take my head if you disagree. Sure, I've said this before. But what, what, I, what did I disobey? Why do you say those things? Why? No, you tell me what I do. You say I disobey. What is it? What is it? You're what? never going to prove yourself if what? this is how you... What did I actually do? So you never knelt down in front of Wei? Yeah, I did. Of course I did. So I'm not saying I did not. You, but you s just now, you say I disobey him for months on end. Which, okay, what did I do there? The point because you're too afraid of answering me. I don't understand what you're saying, Bailey. What, did, what one thing did I do to disobey? You're on a fucking chopping block for a reason. You're suggesting that there were zero reasons? No, there was reason for it. You know the reason, so say it. To ride out to help our allies. Our allies who could help themselves. Yeah, and if we had not left this war, it might have had a very different outcome. But we left it, and it, it the war became over, uh, and not very good for their side either. But did I ride out the with them? isn't even worth arguing over, because we know how that'll go. Agree. We could fight for years, and we could stomp him into the ground for years. I could take his second fucking kidney. Doesn't matter. I agree. Matter. I agree. I agree. But again, Bailey, you are saying words. Did I once ride out and disobey his orders? No, I did not. 
I said I was prepared to do it. But I did not do it. And that you would do it, if given the opportunity. But did I? No. You can't say, I'm gonna rob a bank, but I didn't because I stubbed my toe on the way. <laughs> and, and say, but no, I didn't rob the bank, so I'm not guilty. That's like saying, That's not, know, that is I not what I am saying at all. I told him my resolve at that time. Words as if they aren't actions. Every word is an action, Cole. If you say I'm gonna do something, it's the equivalent of doing something whether you happen to or not. It's the intention. From Wei's perspective, for months on end, you've disagreed with what he said. Now that's one I disagree. Thing I disagree okay. With Wei as well. Yes, I agree with this. I did disagree. Yes. But disagreeing and deliberately telling him, okay, but despite your opinion. I'm going to do what I want to do. You understand that swayed him for a long time. Yeah, sure. Just as you have been swayed toward him. Sure, I understand this. Do I regret saying this? No. That's the issue, Cole, because when you return to the crossing, he's going to expect some regrets. He's going to respect to expect some apologies. And he's going to expect you to offer yourself up for some sort of punishment. And if you don't do these things, he's going to look to exact some sort of punishment and remove you as any dragon head would. And that's, you see the issue I have now? Because I'm in between this. So if Zhang Wei told you to pull out your gun and blow my head off, you would do it. If you continued to stand there unabashedly saying that you would take this company in another direction to a detriment to everyone involved, I definitely consider it. I just, I can't believe that you don't understand the consequences of the mistakes you make. I understand. But you don't care. I care very much. No. And then, and then to say to you... say that uh, to say that uh, was I wrong in certain things? Sure, I make some wrong decisions. Yes. To say that I actively disobey him? No, this has never happened. That is I the difference. You disobeying him, Cole. He said, under no circumstances will you ride out to help our allies in the West. And you said, should I be given the opportunity to? I will. Yes, and I did say this. punish me for that, you can. Yes. That's disobeying, Cole, regardless yes. of whether you got the opportunity to do so. Yes. That is right. People die for that. And you knew people die for that, hence why you put your head on that chopping block. Yes. But at the same time, I have my own reasons for this. My life. If it came to it, and Taipan was in great trouble, the entire West was preparing to withdraw its all of its support for us before Annabelle got sick. That is what was weighing on my mind. In those days, you know, we were not uh, half as strong as we were a few months as we were before I left for the uh, China. Diplomacy, but Cole, why did we approach Zhong Wei all those years ago? Yeah, I know. We are men of war, he is a man of the town. Yes, and, and we don't understand it sometimes. I don't. But he comes through, and he did with the West, and I did. And we didn't lose them as allies. Till this day, we have West folk, the remnants of the West, on our side. Tie Rider, Morgan Lee. I saw Morgan here, yesterday. My point is, you, you did disobey, and you knew the consequences of disobeying, and you did that ages ago. And so now every small mistake you make builds up. It, it sounds like your wishes for your life individually do not align with the society. 
That's what it sounds like you're saying. Which is fine. You could always leave. You could always have a business on the side and, and still work. Leave. How can you leave? You cannot leave. Well, there are a lot of things you can't do that you seem to have done and have kept your head on your shoulders, Cole. What we do in Saints Crossing is different from the homeland. We've said that directly. We've sent that up the line and they've agreed. If you want to leave, pursue something else, pursue your heart. You can do so. But I will always forfeit my heart for the sake of the organization. So you agree? I've always had a larger heart than me. Him making a business with uh, Ketterman is good. He didn't make business with Ketterman. He told me he, he has. To do, you, do you know why he had that conversation? He wants gems. Because the old quacking of Gavin Summers delivered Kettleman to Wei in the middle of town and, and screamed it at the top of his lungs. Here, here's Kettleman for you, Wei, free of charge. Yeah, I know this, Letting yeah. everybody in the damn city know that we had a bounty on his head. That was a foolish move, which we almost got into a shootout yes. over. And we almost got into another war with Kettleman over. So, rather than fucking up Kettleman, he took him into the graveyard, he had a talk with him, and he said, he talked about Bowsher bonds. Yeah. Uh, business will always broke a piece with Kettleman. It'll always distract him from a gunfight. And right then and there, in Kettleman's mind, we were you know, number one enemy. So he made some fucking business proposal with him. Has Kettleman bought any gyms? Not to my knowledge. Have we had a single conversation with Kettleman since? Not to my knowledge. Also, doing business with Kettleman... If it profits the family, I have no issue with it. Profiting off of a Yao Guai when he could be sticking a knife in our back, i take it any day. If the end goal is to slice his head off from his shoulders, then yeah, okay. I can, well, I, I can... His head off from his shoulders, Cole. Well, then shoot him between the eyes or something. Take his second kidney, I don't know. You understand? I fuck that man up every way he can be fucked up. I know, so did I. There's only one option, well, two options with him. One is war and one is ignoring him. And, and one way to ignore him is to make him seem, or rather make it to him seem that we are useful or that we are not a threat. He knows we're a threat. I took one of his organs. So now we appear to be useful. I thought I had a spider on my leg. Well, I'm willing to face whatever consequence these I face. Does it mean that I was wrong to stand up to him in this meeting? No, I don't believe it was. Was there a better way? Yes, there was. Just as for him, there was a better way to question my motives than to accuse me the way he did in front of everyone. If he can offer I will offer whatever he wants from me. I think more than anything, he wants an apology. Now, I think perhaps there are apologies in order on both sides. And in a way, although... greatly considerate of face can be a humble man when he's made a mistake if yeah. you two speak to each other about all of your concerns i think that could be brokered 
Apologies. But if they aren't, then you know where this goes. Of course I do. Not the first, uh, as they say, rodeo. Yes. Wouldn't be too easy, though. I'm not saying I'm going to. I don't want to. But if I chose that route, it would not be easy. I thought about it. I thought about it, lady. You still could, Cole. Uh, if you don't want to apologize and he doesn't offer you an apology, you still can. And he'll honor it. Alright, don't tell don't tell him this, okay? I kind of make apology. I don't tell him this next part, though. But if he does not uh, make my own anger, yes, if he does not address this in some way, then I will have difficulty in future. But don't tell him that part. I want it to come from his heart, not from what you report back to him. I do like Zhang Wei very much. And I think he, making him the boss is was not a mistake. There have been times I have questioned it. As I believe you have too. Sometimes I have difficulty following blindly, without question. Not blindly, without question. Which is strange for my upbringing. I guess the military though is a little bit different in China than than here. At least the military I joined. That is more very brief while I was in part I was a part of that military too, Cole. Yeah. That is more to be rebels than to do anything else. You know now yes, and, and... Have you heard of a Mr Song? Song. Yeah. There is a, a far I'm back home. Yes. I'm sorry. Um, Sun, not Song. Sun. Sun. Okay. Sun Yat Sun. Sun Yat. Yes, I have heard of it. Mm. Then you know that uh, even greater conflict is brewing in China now. Already, they have tried That's revolt. Bigger there than. There will be many more revolts. Yep. Yeah. Bigger than anything the boxers had. He has money. Yes, he has money. I'm afraid my father's money has run dry. Oh no. He put everything into the rebellion. Oh no. He has fled south. With one of my sisters and my mother. What does he plan to do? I don't know. Communication right now is sparse. It is still difficult to send letters. Ships at the bay have been being ransacked. I tried to send him some money, but... No, I have money if you need. Well, it's not, not, a not, of not money here. Money. It's, it's a matter of getting it to him. I don't even know where he is exactly. I'm not sure he's certain of where he'll be tomorrow or a week from now. I want him to come here. Well, not here, but. The Saints Crossing. But he's too proud. Mm. He's too traditional. You would have great difficulty, I think. And my fucking sister is still alive, still in the crossing, yes. taunting me with telegrams, asking me how I'm doing, if I've recovered. Really? 
I did not. Yes. She survived and uh, she did not return home. No, she's still around. Hiding somewhere. With that low pun or whatever the old fuck is called. The one who took my finger. Holy shit. He's still here too. Yes. I, I've messaged her and she has not replied to me. I'm a coward. Well, only two of them are left, yes? What, what do you want to do with her? I don't know if there are only two left. Mitsuhide body up to the Lotus very, very quickly. And soon after leaving us, has uh, begun work with this Kai Fung. Leads me to believe that perhaps they have some connection to the old man. That they may be slowly growing. It's partially why I'm on this island. Mitsuhide gave me this after I was shot. I don't know why. I don't even know why I keep it, other than perhaps it, uh, if you get in trouble, it could save your life. Maybe. Offering, I believe it to be. I think that's his attempt at saying, we'll always be around if you leave Taipan. Uh, that is out of the question. I have been white since, well, a teenager. There's nowhere else for me to go. And I never once thought that the differences that... Uh, yeah, there were times I was so angry. Perhaps I even wanted to challenge him or whatever. Then I smoked some opium and uh, calmed down. But there's never once a time where I did not... Uh, Look at you or Feilong Zhang Wei as brothers. Sometimes brothers fight even worse than enemies at times. No, the, the way I think about Wei is we chose him specifically because we knew we would disagree with his methods because they are not of our instincts. Hence why we need him. If it were me yeah. and you we would be more akin to a gang than anything. Yep. Hey, I've said this. I've said this openly. If, if Wei were to die of some disease, Black Lung finally takes him. And he were to die of old age. Then uh, Fei Long were to... Were to elope. With oh, some, with, with Yuri. <laughs> with Yuri, yes. And left me all alone. I'd go out west. I'd tie a bandana around my neck. And I'd be an outlaw. Chinese outlaw. To some extent, it's in our blood being raised with such conformism. Fighting in a rebellion, going against everything we were told, and then being given the opportunity to come to a far off land, the Yellow Mountain, to, to, to go to America. Mm. And once again, rebel in our own sort of way. Yeah. It's in our blood. It's true. However, all these rules in place, Wei being one of those, keeps us in line. Yeah. But you will say it make a sense. I think, I think what I say to you makes more sense than what he says to you. It's always been that way. 
and the old and the new. There's a part of me that misses those old days. Yeah. That long winter. I think also a mistake of mine. Oh, you go ahead, sorry. No, only reminiscing. There's one mistake I have been making in my own mind. And I have not told anyone. Because you and because you and me find the Zhang Wei and uh, basically give him this option and appoint him. I think somehow that has made me feel like his shrivel. Which is not the right attitude. Well, a lot of things, he's always treated us like equals. Even since the beginning. Yeah, but, but it give it give my own mind, it give me license to... Yes. ...say things perhaps I should not have. One, one question. And Feilong, this question go to you too. Is he evil? What do you think is evil, Cole? Because by a general standard, I am evil, Cole. Yeah, it's different though. I've, I've put scalpels to people's faces. I have deceived people and used them and had them killed for my own gain. We've all done this, maybe not to you. But evil in terms of our organization, if you mean he seeks to bring it down or unknowingly no. is doing so. No. By... My, it's not even really a worry, just a question in my head sometimes. Are we just a cannon father for his dreams? That One of his be. dreams is peace, Cole. We aren't cannon fodder for that, and I had that conversation with him. I put a cleaver to him once. I told him that I would sink it in his neck the very next time he ever used me or my subordinates, Fei Long, as cannon fodder. Or the next time he ever decided to lead us into battle against my advice. And he said he never would, and he said that the day he did, he would offer his head to me. So, no, Kawaii, I don't think he's evil. Wait long. He's far too considerate to be. I don't think so. That doesn't mean he's good, either. The good is not uh, relevant. But no, I don't think he's evil. I think he's exactly what he needs to be to make sure that we survive. Mm -hmm. Survive. Is it possible, though, that maybe some change is needed for times of war? I have told Zhang Wei this before. In fact, I told him in Sisika long, long, long ago. We had a very long talk. I told him that when it comes to war, not every man or lady they can do everything. I recognized him for his talents on this day. And I said, when it comes to war, put by Lee. 
as the commander in chief. He agreed to this a long time ago. And he has done, especially after that failure out in the plains. Yeah. He told me this. It just so happens the last conflict we had, I was injured. Right. Then my worries are. I trust him. I will trust him with diplomatic strategy when it comes to times of war, if I am not around. However, he should never be the one leading someone into battle. No. That should be Fei Long, and he should follow Fei Long's orders. Now, should Fei Long be the diplomat in a war? I don't believe so, not yet. No. But when it comes to a battlefield, he should have final say on strategy. And I believe Wei agrees with this. It's just, at the current moment, we do our best to avoid conflict of any kind. Because, frankly, we never should have had any. They were always forced onto us for no damn reason. And right now we're enjoying a stretch of peace where we watch our enemies kill each other off. The Rechinzos have been wasted. Seriously. They're alive. I'm sure they're doing well, but they have been utterly embarrassed. Hmm. Sam's uh, gang just gunned them down several times. Sam Bass? Yes. Holy shit. I did not know he had it in him. Bass, and get this. Becca Lang's daughter. Do you know Becca Lang? Mm, I don't think so, no. Oh, you know Robbie Gold? Yeah, I heard he died. Yes, he was executed. Mm. All because of Becca Lang's daughter who was involved in this war. So, oh. Robbie Gold, you know that he ran in a very large gang, a gang that raised cities to the ground and... and Commanded territories, right? Yes. He did so along a man named Becca Lang. Becca Lang has fled the state, I believe, but his daughter is still here. His daughter, Rebecca Lang, wanted to be like a father, wanted to be an outlaw, wanted to wage war. So, to do this, she took up with Sam's Club. Or whatever they call themselves. Robbie Gold desired to remove her from that gang because he knew where it would lead her. Said that uh, her father never would have wanted it for her. In doing so, he hurt a member of the Chinzos and got gunned down by the Chinzos and got wanted. And apparently, after his history of crime, he was on a very, very long probation, and if he broke, if he broke it, he led to execution. That is a terrible tragedy, tragic story. Yes. He did it for his daughter. Fuck, I never liked Sam Skank, though. I did not know they were such accomplished fighters. This is a... Uh... No, this isn't Sam's gang that you think of. Roscoe is nowhere to be seen. Goldie is nowhere to be seen. He doesn't have these buffoons that come and go. This is his family. His nephew and some others. They're different. I see. They're different and... Um, they made a very big mistake. They hosted a gunfight on top of my rooftop. And in the midst of that gunfight ruined a business transaction I was undergoing and threatened me. I demanded a meeting with them, of which they came, and they kissed my fucking boots. Oh. Which I did not expect. Oh. Uh, Sam is still an idiot, but his nephew, he's got a stupid name, Jabaz. Okay, yeah, I have met this one before. Yes, he... 
I like him. He's smart and he's capable, and he knows when to suck up his pride. Interesting. So the Dicenzos, uh, they were fighting with the Sambas. Sambas win. And Kettleman. And, Cat and Kettleman. Yes, they were winning the fight against Kettleman. Kettleman's been in prison a long time, but since he got out, they've been stomping on Kettleman. But Bass has won the fight against the Dicenzos. I don't know if it's still going. It was, it was going when I was uh, on the boat coming here, so by now it could have ended or they could still be raging on, but... <laughs> Any other wars or conflicts? Creed got out. Creed. Uh, he's not over here, though, is he? No, he's, uh... He's indebted to me. But, um... He's been picking fights with Dicinzos, knowingly or unknowingly, we have an Italian barber in our side of the city, as well as a fight club. Creed uh, robbed some of them, and they might be going to some kind of a war, as stupidly as that word is thrown around. Um, Summer's Gang, or Redwater, whatever. From what I've heard, they're running Van Horn, and they're not doing much other than running Van Horn. That explains it. <laughs> you were here in Barman, sorry. Oh, uh, no, sorry. Well, that explains why I'm here. Yeah, you... Apparently they're not even robbing, riding around as a gang, they're just running Van Horn. Fucking coward. You say you you arrive here with a black bag over your head, yes? Yes, uh, I presume I was kidnapped or something. A black bag over my head. The last thing I remember was Gavin Summers talking to me. No wonder. And of course, you confirming that he's been in Van Horn explains all of the motivation. What a fucking god. Hmm. Sorry, you're in the middle of talking. No, no, it's it's no. fine. Concerns you more than me, I don't. I the know only time I. Stop you. Keep talking only... about Gavin. The <laughs> only time I met Gavin was the time he brought Kettleman into the city and, and declared him as our bounty. All the other business I've been absent for. I can tell you why he uh, screamed the top of his lungs that he had a uh, kettleman. Why would that be? Because... Oh no, actually... Hmm... Well, the same thing happened to him with a man named Rene. He was in Blackwater about a year and a half ago. A man named Rene dragged uh, Gavin through the town. I did, his uh... mouth with dirt and hit him, I guess, apparently, uh, he was inhaling dust for days, coughing up uh, the road of uh, black water before it was bricked. And now he, of course, has that, that literal gravelly voice. Well, mm. I did hear that he did the same to Wesley Shields a while back, dragged Drug him through black water. Yeah, black water, well... Uh, seems like he's adopting someone else's old also, go to. Perhaps you knew this man, I don't know if you know. But um Blondie is dead. Uh, I know of Blondie, we've worked together, but I can't quite if you were to line him up a row of people who were in fact blonde, I would not be able to point out which one is him. Yeah, every time I met him he was uh, either wearing a bandana or had a hat that covered up most his face. Mm. That was one of many of the... Uh, Redwater? Redwater, yep. Yeah. John Shaw's gang. Mm. I think 
Hicks. Who else? Yeah, Morgan. Tell me. Morgan. Yesterday. Oh, and uh, also yeah. Peter Gray. As in Dale Redwater? Yeah, that's what he say. Is... Is Redwater still employed by Gavin Summers, or are they separate now? I don't know this. He talk very little as about... As my understanding was that they were always just being hired to do everything. That's what I understood as well. He was hired by Gavin to be there his own entourage because he couldn't, with loyalty, uh, request anyone else. Surprised no one. Hmm. Uh, business. Yes, well, business has been very good on, on the crossing. We now have so many gems, we are having to liquidate them because we have nowhere to put them. Tiana. I will proudly say we have over maybe 60,000 worth in gems. I'm very liquidating gems, I'll take some. Well, um, I could deliver some to you. Actually, Zhong Wei is on the island somewhere, at least he should be. He might have brought gems with him for sale. I made one purchase of a gem. Give oh. Them away, I'll take them. oh, okay. Apparently the mines aren't that profitable here when it comes to gems. I saw the mine, but I did not go in. I, uh, I spoke to the doctor, the one with the horns. He said in all this time he has only found uh, one ruby, and I bought it off of him. Hmm. Maybe there is another mine. Sell Sisica diamonds and Kuama rubies. Here you go. I got a few Sisica diamond. I think Did three. You sell those? Uh, you buy them? I think I gave one to away, and I think I might have two. I need to check my bank. Been a long time. One of them is Bonnie Jacks. Yeah, that one I keep. Yeah, you know what you should do with that one if you could. Put it, uh, put it into a gun. Oh. Oh my, that would I be. Uh, I don't want a navy with diamonds. One of which will be uh, Bonnie Jacks Sisica diamond. Oh, headache. Oh. Oh no, what the heck was that? Holy cow guys, that was amazing RP. No idea that I was going to find Bailey there. Wow. I guess I could play the, um... I could play the, uh... Official video, since I didn't do that at the beginning of the stream. This video always, uh... I don't know. I, I love this video. I've seen it a billion times, but um, just, I don't know, it's good. Let me see if I can figure out how to do it. Hit window capture. Come on. No, that's not it. There we go.
Some of these people in here are not uh, around anymore. I need to re redo this video. Whatever happened to this guy, I have no idea. Boom. There we go. Okay. I'm really not very good at, at this stuff yet, so bear with me for a second. There we go. Okay, now we can get back in. Yeah, Shadows, that's the, some of the questions Ko's dealing with. really wish they wouldn't play Red Dead music in this when you're getting into the game. <clears throat> God, I've had lunch sitting here for like three hours. Once again, basil chicken rice. Tell you what though, it feels so good to be able to log back into Co. You know, not a, not to pat myself on the back, but I took a huge I sacrifice a lot with all the uh, RP we did with the different lotuses, and uh, yeah, and I'm really glad to be logging back into it. Maybe putting it in a pot on a fire? I did try that, yes. Hmm. Maybe I need a skillet or something. Well, there are some exports from Guam, but not many imports, unfortunately, what? because the, the economy is very small. But, um, right. fruits, crabs, crab. There are multiple Maybe restaurants. Right. Yes, there are crabs here, Cole. Yeah, I saw one, but uh, how do you cook it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Absolutely. You'd have to ask Romeo and Lydia, but... But I'm sure they would buy them for a seafood restaurant. If it was me, I would assume it would be the large pot of water and over a cooking fire. Oh. Yes. Wait. Maybe a canteen, pot, fire, crab. Mm hmm potentially. Hmm. 
but um, so that's one export fruits and uh, crabs another is I think we will be venturing here often to purchase gems so letting people know that if you find gems in the mine we will be above standard prices for those gems it's nothing like saying you have a gem from across the seas um, wonder if there's maybe That's true. What else? What else? Is it possible there's a second mine here? Uh, I've heard that there might be. Yes. I know about the one near near where the the militia men stay. The little village oh. toward the center of the island, but. Your hair looks good, by the way, Philo. I saw a, a in the to the east of here, a little bit north. There's a camp, uh, kind of built into the mountainside. A uh, Vasquez, I believe, lives there. Uh, he wrote a letter. It's just laying there on the desk. He's uh, looks like he's writing to himself. He's saying, "Why are all these people coming here from Saints Crossing? I don't like it." And perhaps it is time to teach them all a lesson. Also, he has briefcases full of cash. Yes, um, we found a spot that's quite out of the way. Uh, near to the center of the island, just close enough, and uh, it's got the amenities we'd like. Felong has um, pictures of naked women, and I oh. have um, uh, yeah. meat on the meat <laughs> rack. We also have an outhouse. Fucking freak. You are a freak. <laughs> Fuck you, sir. Hey, it's good uh, to see you. have not changed, but fail. <laughs> little bitch, by the <laughs> always, always the lady is a man. How is, how is your lady, by the way? I haven't seen her in Ah! Years. Okay, you admit it then. Yes, good. Yeah. Before you would never really admit it. What? Admit that I haven't seen Yuri in that one? Yeah, time. well, no. That your lady is Yuri. You're shy. Yeah, you get red in the cheek. Yeah, well, we made, we made it official and then she she disappeared. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, well, other than this meeting today, this is the most people I have seen here in Nagorma. Not many people, yes. it seems. Get a lot of tourists, I think, people who come for a day and then leave. There was but, a way. Uh, I know Vane. Vane practically lives on the island, and he wants to run this place. So you'll have some company, Mr. Charles. There'll always be somebody here. Um... I have a place north of the north of the side. So far, I was looking to maybe take this place, but like I said, I think it's a little too open air for me. What's that down there? Does anyone know? That is the headquarters of the militia, I've heard. No, no. What about across the way, off the peninsula? That it's is like a, a fortress. fortress. Um, I'm sure I haven't seen anyone there. I'm sure somebody's there. Yeah. But if there's anybody there, it would also be militia, I guess. However, if you follow the coast um, south west of that fortress, mm. there's a large number of uh, campsites along the cove and along the cliffs with uh, bridges that uh, climb up the, uh, the mountainside. Uh, okay, there's I haven't been south yet. There's a lot to see there. It's also where the doctors is. Right, I did hear about that. Yes, be careful of the headhunters. Yes, I will. Headhunters. Yeah, there's a. Who's hunting him? It's a, like a altar. Yeah. It's an altar I found. It has, I don't know, eight, maybe more heads, a dozen heads. One head was yes, shrunk head down. There. Yeah. There also nearby that there is a cages too with a, a heads inside each cage. So, seeing as you have corn, 
Mr. Charles, I assume you found, um, you took that little dinghy across to the other side of the island? Correct. Okay, then, so you've seen that, Pop. Correct. Well, if you want to go exploring the south side, me and Fei Long uh, have seen it all, and we can show you all the little spots. There's an arena over there. Arena. Oh! Mm -hmm. I'd love to throw, throw some. My hat up here, and I'll be able to probably maybe... Then maybe just roll south some other time. Yeah, that... Yep, yep. I'll probably do the same if, if we don't want to go look there. I didn't expect to run into anybody. I need to head to my previous camp and grab my box of my shit and take it to new camp. Well, maybe get me bunk here, boys, but it was wonderful seeing you all. Yeah, Barman, very good. Yeah, I owe you a debt, uh, a life debt. Thank you for your assistance earlier, too. All right, well, I can't wait to pay you no more. All right. This is. Sajin, Wanan. Yeah, you need some help moving your stuff? Um, I just need to remember where it is. This map sucks. It, yes, and if you mark it, every time you close your oh. eyes, you gotta mark it again. I found a, I found a treasure chest. Can you open it? Yeah, I did. There was a Mauser and a pump shotgun. Uh -huh. I'm just yeah. kidding. It was uh, sixteen dollars. We need to get um, metal detectors and go around the island searching for treasure. Oh, have you found anything? Yeah, I found one treasure chest. I told you. You had uh, six, oh, well, we'll sixteen dollars, a little bit of tobacco, and a moonshine bottle. That's it. Okay. Very okay. disappointing. Well, then maybe you can find guns. Yeah, it's possible. I, I did yesterday while I was walking around. I found a. I, I used this uh, a lot, but that was the only one I find. I've been disappointed by the wildlife. So because uh, I, I found exotic snakes with different patterns, but um, I was hoping maybe you could use the venom, or maybe I could s take their skins and sell them for higher prices. Oh but no. You know, now, uh, with the new knives, uh, we are able to skin potatoes. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, Long, do you remember... We ran directly up the sugar cane until yeah. we found, like, a ramshackle building, and then we followed southwest to a little tent. Mm -hmm. And is that where I put my box, or did we follow ahead of that more from the doctors? I think it was the first one. Alright, well, I'm gonna run then. This is it is this one? I think so, it looks familiar. Oh, we, we were looked at a lot of places. Yeah, that's the one. The box. Yeah, this is it. Let's see if it's still a shit in it. Oh, oh, this box. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never found this yesterday. No. I, I did not take anything from this box. I have bananas. We should pick a bunch of bananas and lemons before we leave. Yeah, what about the rum? I heard there's no more rum in the crossing. You can only take one bottle at a time. Oh, I don't know. I'd never drink in any of it. Is that the banana field there? Um... I no, mm, I don't think so. No, I don't have any space either. You don't I, have I have space. Yes. I have a lot of food. Take. What do you want me to take? Food. Okay. 
And now we trek to our new home. What, what did we call it? Uh, Wakwa. Wakwa. Camp Wakwa. Wakwa. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It's painting. painting. You can't get the memes. So you're saying that uh, Mitsuhide is with the Black No? Um, well, he left to join them before leaving us. Yes. Which I, I would have killed him for, but apparently he settled it with Wei and they had some kind of combat, I don't know. No. Wonder what his reasoning is. I don't know. Oh, I have a. Maybe he liked being violent, and and he started attacking people because doctors wouldn't buy his morphine, which uh, is fuck. the stupidest shit in the world. Yeah. All right, I'll and shoot him. Of course, he can't do that with us, so I think he just went to join a more violent group. I guess I don't know. Maybe I should put him out of his misery. I thought about it, but why gave him his word that if he didn't fuck, him, then that if he didn't fuck up again, we wouldn't fuck him up. No way. Um, well, very far away from here, I found a fort. Downstairs has a, a rifle cabinet. It looked like somebody had put a lock on it. Uh, also, working station, crafting table. What's that? That's snake. Your boa snake. We're still going the right way. Yep. Are you, are you thinking of uh, making more permanent residence here? Well, Romeo and Lydia are coming here regularly. And McMuffin comes here quite a bit too. <laughs> I would like to have some permanent stay here. Um, just to extract whatever we can out of Gorma. No, that's not a bad idea. Gyms, I think... You get so few gyms here. That it might be worth having pe you know, spreading the word around the island. Hey, keep your gems. Don't go sell them to the general store. Because when Taipan comes around, we'll pay you, you know, 25% more than they're worth. Yeah, the only thing I think perhaps uh, it might be more beneficial to sell gems here. Because storage space, very limited. And like, uh, if people go on these fucking donkeys... Yeah, but if you live here permanently, you buy a box, you buy a gym bag, you just put it in the box and you keep it at your, your house. Yeah. Wherever you're living at. Yeah. Gems here, I think, will be more important than the cash. So to have uh, gems brought here to sell, also to have a person here to buy them, I think would be good business. Yes, and then we'll speak with our contact, Frisco. I came here partially, one, to find out business, and two, to find Kaifong. Who is this Kaifong? This little shit. He wants, he's running a rival gun, sort of, maybe <clears throat> he knows how to run a fucking business, and he doesn't. Anyway, we have a contact named Frisco. You're aware of that, right? Our business on Guamo with guns? Uh, I remember something about it, not much detail. Uh, a contact of the militia came to us and said that he'd buy high caliber rifles and things off of us to deliver to Guama. Uh -huh. Exclusively to us. And I wanted to come here and see about the gun trade. And I heard about this Kai Fung selling guns for cheap. So I was gonna go confront him about it, maybe kick his ass. But it turns out the economy is just almost non-existent here. So I don't think he's selling guns for cheap to undercut people. I think he's doing it because nobody has any more money. They, he, they just need to be cheap. 
It's needs more time. Issue. Yeah. Absolutely needs more time. Maybe, yeah. Uh, people need to start making more money on the island. I just don't know how they're gonna do that. Exports, I imagine. If you if you're a banana farmer, somebody comes to the island once every two weeks and pays you for bananas, you know, this thing. Oh, it's our lemons. Here it, yeah, it's our lemon trees. Yeah, okay. I found this yesterday. Yeah, what the fuck can we use this for at all? So many supplies. Are those Oh can you use them? I don't know. It has to be be able to use somehow. Need to experiment, I guess. I was hoping that maybe you could make some kind of tropical fruity drink. Make some kind of lemon shine or something. Yeah, I'm sure there has to be wait. I hate experimenting. Yeah, you've done a lot of it with tonics. Maybe yeah. Lemon juice? Maybe lemon juice can be put into tonics. Greasy lemon, yeah, that, that makes sense. I really want to be able to combine like lemons, oranges, maybe rum and make some kind of like geeky drink, you know? Yeah, then you can sit on the beach with your cabana boys and uh, uh, drink to your heart's delight. I don't have any cabana boys. <laughs> Closest thing to a cabana boy I got is Long. Oh, okay. He's not bad looking. Nah, I can't. Mama hoo hoo! <laughs> I like your hair long, by the way. Yeah. Have you seen? Have you seen my hair? Ooh, yeah. It is. Yeah. Damn. How do you get it so clean? Um. I I use pomade and I comb it. Oh. oh. So okay. So Felo, let me see your hair. Take off your hat. It's never not going to be pomaded. Yeah, your hair would look the same if we pomade. Yeah. It. Okay. No, I'm not going to pomade have my you, hair. Cole, yeah. Have you seen the um? Have you seen the traditional Chinese hairstyle? No. Okay, we're, t we're taking you to the barber after this. Okay. Oh, you can make it. Almost there. We can, okay. Interesting. Yes. Yes, you can make it almost exactly to what it is in the homeland now. With homeland. Oh. Do I keep the front of my hair? Yes. Okay, that's okay then. No, they don't give you the the mile long forehead. The the Qing the Qing uh, fashion, emperor's fashion. Where the hell are we going? I don't know. Why am I in the front? I don't know where we're going. <laughs> we're going to Camp Taipan. Wakwa. Wakwa. Uh. We may need a bigger place if I don't know. There shouldn't be so many of us on here at one time that we no, need anywhere bigger. So. We just need to show this spot to McMuffin. Uh, you say Wei. you say Zhang Wei is here now. He mm. said he would come on Thursday, so he should be here by now. But we haven't ran into him. Yeah, maybe he came and left on the same day, but I don't know. You know, I was thinking that the castle that would be a very good place to have a banquet if. Uh, if Zhang Wei is wanting to come this way and uh, we have our discussion, he do what he needs to do. Afterward, perhaps if I survive, we can sit down there for a banquet. That would be a memory. Oh, crab. We just eat buckets of crab. Yes. Butter. Yes. No, uh, no butter, but the crabs, yes. No, there's, there's goats on the island. We can milk the goats, make butter. Blech. Make butter? Have you never made butter? No. It's easy. I didn't live like a farmer. Well... I don't think Pai Li did either. You took whatever you could. Oh, I definitely hunted and, and farmed when we were... ...fighting. When the rations got low. Yeah. Come on. Well, There's a snake somewhere there. Again, in my experience, they don't bite. Oh, I was bit yesterday. Really? Did it do anything? No, it did not get through my boot. But they make no noise before it attack. Not like crushing rattlesnake and make a big noise.
So what news about the uh, Fiona? In... I don't even know them. I never bothered to get to know them. They're ways people. I don't care. Oh. Yeah, they live out west now. Oh, really? I haven't seen them in a long time. Uh, yeah, Gaptooth is the headquarters. But the... Separated. But uh, what's his name? Um, God damn it. Sca Sca yeah, Yuchen. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen Yuchen in so long. He also move out west? Yeah. He does security for them. Ah, I see. It's about Charlotte. He's, she still works Charlotte's still around. Mm -hmm. Yep. Once in a while. Damn. I should do more often. You seem like even a great time of peace to come by. Where, where is our house? Is that it up there? Oh, here it is. It's right here. See, we have all those shipping crates for all the merchandise we take over and, and have to take back. Mm -hmm. There's a good place to hide that crate. You could hide Snakes. it up here or down there. You want to hide it up here? Um, there's an iguana trapped in the pen. <laughs> Well, you can hide it down here. Up to you. Um, oh, here. Oh, nice balcony. Oh, yeah, this place. Okay, I saw this yesterday. Yeah, I think maybe artists used to live here. If not, I think it's an iguana trapped in the... Oh, I see it. Yeah, I see it now. All right. Yeah, no. Damn leather. Look, look at all this meat. Oh, Ooh. Do I have a little kitchen. There's gabagool no medical bag. On, the, on the table. Oh, there's gabagool. That's your favorite. Yeah, that's Can you cook here? We even have a wok. Yeah, we have a wok. Nice. Nice. Make some uh, fried rice. Walk yeah, right. I have not found any rice here. Mm, I brought noodles with me. But... You still have noodles? They're, those are gone bad, man. No. But noodles take a long time to go bad. As long as you don't boil them. No, they were, they were cooked. I had them in bags. I had little leather Bag pouches noodles. with noodles. That's the, that's the way that... Uh, Genghis Khan in, uh, fight all the way to Europe. He bring noodles in the bag. And then they use their shields as the walk. Oh, yeah. I'm lay my head down here, dude. oh look, there's a uh, something down here. Oh. Oh, this is uh, for Fei Long. Where the fuck is this place? Let me see. Holy shit, it's way out there. This must be border of uh, Gorma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the doctor showed us this place. Oh, so let's see. see. There's the medical clinic. Okay. I think the banana trees are somewhere close to here. There are banana trees all over the place. Oh. There's banana trees above the uh, cigar bar, like right outside of it. Oh. Yeah, a lot of houses or buildings uh, have banana trees by them. So, so what is um, okay. what is you all's uh, plan? Are you heading back to crossing soon, or? Um, I would like to meet with way to. We can begin with him first, but we do need to get back there. I'm sure I have a ton of telegrams and meetings to go to. Yeah, me too. Oh, It'll shit, be McMuffin, yeah. Lydia, and Romeo, they will be frequenting this island quite a bit. All right. So, um, you think I should meet with the Zhangwei here or in the crossing? 
Well, it's, since there's no telegrams here, you're going to have to have to meet him by chance. Yeah. If you want to meet him faster, or at least at a more convenient time, then I would say go back to Saints Cross and send him a telegram. Mm. I'll stay here for a day or two, I think, at least. Look for any possible business. Bring me back a, a huge shit ton of bananas or rum or something. I don't know. Alright, well, I'm gonna lay my head down then. Mm -hmm. Probably Great. Very soon I joined you. See you when I see you next. I don't know when that'll be. I imagine Way will be around Sunday. I can be around earlier in the day Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like this porch. Oh, shit. Alright. One on. So tall. One on. One on. So tall. Let me What? You want to sleep too? Fuck. Alright, I really, really gotta eat something. So either I need to... Um, just let, let it sit here for a little while. I can eat something, come back. You guys don't mind? I'll give you a little cinera cinematic... Uh, yes, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Alright, so I'll, I won't be long. I need to eat something though.
Oh, shit. Split. Sorry. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I was uh, making some uh, dinner there. Hello, guys. Welcome in. Thank you for the follows. Wow, two raids in one day. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, there go my dogs. Thank you. Yeah, that was some good RP, I thought. Split. You're still there. I'm glad we bumped into each other. I really didn't know how that was going to begin. What was that? What was that noise? Holy shit, that's a snake. How come? Is it dead? No, it is. Birdie land snake, okay. What? Did my my mere presence uh, frighten the snake to death? Perhaps? Oh, another snake! Fuck! I hate snakes. I hate them. I hate snakes. Why are they all dead? Oh, there's a sugar cane field to the right. Maybe this is banana. Yeah, this is banana. All right, you fucking pig. Get back. Uh, Daniel LZ. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Sorry, I was, uh, I had lunch brought to me. It's a uh, basil chicken rice. Spicy. It was uh, with a soft boiled egg and green peppers. It's so good. But I had it sitting in front of me for three hours because I had no idea that I was going to bump in one to the barman. Um, who actually resed me after I take a very small fall off a tiny, tiny little cliff thing. I was riding a donkey. Don't ever ride donkeys in Guarma. It's dangerous. And then, um, yeah, and then we ran into Split. And so, I, of course, I forgot about lunch. And I'm still not eating. I'm walking in the jungle. And I'm I'm swallowing saliva like crazy because it smells so good. A nice cup of uh, hot jasmine tea and uh, basil chicken rice. But I'll tell you guys what, it's so good to be on Co again. I don't know how much you guys know of the drama that um, went on a few months back. A lot of drama. A lot of really cool RP. And uh, because of all that, I took Ko out of the equation for about two months. RP that he went to China. Ooh, what's that over there? Oh, that's just the road to the medical clinic. Okay. Oh, I need to get the medical back. Hmm, maybe I... I'll try to get up there this way and probably die. I love our pain with Split, though. He's so good. Um, Ko was walking through the jungle, trying to head up to the medical clinic. He ga I gave his uh, he gave his medical bag to uh, the barman. I wish I would have been streaming when uh, he came up to me. He had a black mask, face mask on, and a really low voice. I didn't, I didn't recognize it at first. I think he had devious intentions until he found out I was Ko.
Yeah. He's a really good uh, fighter, too. RP fighting. Probably one of the best, I would think. Learned a lot from him. Because, you know, I mean, RP, when you get into a gunfight or something, there are things that have got to happen before you pull out your gun and start shooting. You can't just walk up to somebody and start shooting. You're very different than, you know, Red Dead, the game, or other games. And that's something I really didn't know too much about before I got into Wild. You know, it's it's been a little bit more than a year that I've been RPing for the first time in my entire life, and uh, I think I think I mean even now I'm not so confident or comfortable with uh, RPing um, conflict, but it's getting there. And there go my dogs. Especially the little excursions I took with uh, Black Lotus and then even um, Wang Luan. Okay, I gotta hang on, guys. I need to let my dog in. Be right back. Sorry. Stay right here. Camouflage with like this tree. Can't tell the difference. Okay, back. One bite of lunch. Also, another thing I've learned through RP is that sometimes it's even cooler to lose. A bit ago, though, if Biley hadn't said what he had said, I don't think Ko would have been as um, what's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> Compliant. He's a he's a real proud person. This guy Ko.
And even though like he's he's angry with Zhang Wei to a degree about the face, the uh, saving face, the whole saving face thing, for him it's kind of this. He's kind of he was kind of angry for the same reasons. I mean, he Zhang Wei um, questioned him, his loyalty, his uh, commitment, whatever, in front of a bunch of people, which you know then he flipped the table and did the same thing to him in a way. So really, it's you know kind of a stupid argument. Just semantics. Alright, I'm gonna get up to the doctor's house and I'm gonna scarf down some food. It's really spicy. Nice place to chill and maybe have a little dinner. Who are you playing, Shadows? Ah, okay. Okay, eat, eat half of it. for my supper. Yeah, see that down there? That is the fighting arena. I'm not going down there. No, I don't care what you guys say. It suck. Look, the rain, wood, moldy, uh, rotten wood. It's like a death trap.
All these signs follow the doctor, but I have not seen the doctor anywhere. Sales traveling salesman, Mr. Something, sends me a. I can't read it. I wonder if uh, it would be a good camp for. Dinosaurs. I wonder if this is the camp that uh, the geologist will stay at. I'm going. I should have my metal detector out. There has to be more than one treasure chest in the Gorma. Has to be. Oh. Thought I heard it click. No. Tomorrow you have a medical meeting. Yeah, no idea where Ko's gonna be. the border. But if there's, if there's really not uh, much more that we can do here in Garma, uh, I mean, it's not really going to be a attractive, attractive place for a lot of people. I mean, just for a day or two every once in a while, that's it. Jesus. I mean, there's lots of cool stuff here, but 
Oh, big bones. Of what? I get her. Come on, no treasure. Who's Dogo? Dago. Oh, oh, my dog. Oh, <laughs> that you're talking about your meeting. Yeah, well, they just want to tell me, hey, hey, dad, there's a there's a guy walking down the street, like half block away. He looks he looks dangerous. That's what they usually say. I speak a little bit of dog. It's funny, like we have way too many dogs. We have four dogs total. Uh, I got the first one because my cousin was going to get rid of it, and I wanted to keep. I wanted a little dog for um, the kids. Ten years ago, and uh, so I got that real cheap. And then, um, then we got a mini Aussie Shepherd. Uh, my son wanted it, so we got that one. And, um, man, he's just a cute dog, but a very strict guardian. Watchdog. Uh, then we got, um, a part Pyrenees, part Collie. Her name's Susu. She's a big one. And, of course, we didn't, you know, I thought it was cruel at the time to, like, you know, snip dogs. Get them neutered and whatnot. Um, I mean, that dog got for the wife. And of course, uh, you know, they said they take care of them, feed them, groom them, all that stuff. No, 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 they won't do that. And of course, all the dogs, for some reason, they just love me. So, Bear, the male, and Susu, they fell in deeply in love and had uh, 27 puppies in total. 27. I sold them all. Oh, it had 28. One died. Um, but 27, we sold sold them all except for one. The runt of the very last litter. I And I chose that one for the first time. Out of how many dogs we have, I said, nope, I'm putting my foot down. I want this one. I want the runt. So we kept the runt. His name is Xiaodi, which means a uh, little one in uh, Chinese. And he is just the best dog in the whole world. But still a dog, sometimes still barks. Well, Xiaodi, Xiaodi, not necessarily for dogs. Xiaodi could be for a person too. You know, like how in the game here, we call Zhang Wei dog, Dago, which means elder brother. There's all kinds of names for like younger brothers, sisters, that kind of thing, which really are used mostly like in gang settings, society settings, or but also just between normal people too. Ah, there's some nice blues. Yeah, no, four dogs is not recommended by me. Mm -mm. But some... Uh, I mean, I love them all. But I would not be heartbroken if one just, you know, ran away. No, oh, okay, I'm back in the same place. Dang it. Alright, we need to set markers.
Yeah, no, four dogs, too much. Oh, I just got a message <laughs> about co-kicking pigs yesterday. <laughs> I don't know. Is, is it a is it a a, a clip? I think. I think it's a clip of co kicking pigs or something. And then of course he did. He went down not too long after. He goes like you know I, I'm I'm a big boy. I don't uh, I'm not afraid of a fucking pig. Nah, not even three. There was three of them, maybe four. Yeah, I think it was four. Yeah, well, the pigs almost killed me. I mean, really, really close. That was right before. Donkey killed me. Or knocked me out. I swear to God, it wasn't even that big of a fall. It was just a tiny little... It was like it was like this right here, pretty much. Maybe a tiny bit steeper in one area. Yeah, it knocked me out. What the heck? Come on. Guarma is dangerous. Donkeys are dangerous. Donkeys are the most dangerous animal here. this look at this is that the sword the old sword i want the old sword come okay come on this is not treasure here and I, I got the turn off the music in my head we're going to find treasure here right here this is it this is where the treasure is going to be look at that there's two really nice swords the spyglass the dead person he had to have uh, the treasure here 100 percent if I'm wrong, I'm a donkey. I'm the cross between a donkey and a pig. Come on, what are you? Shouldn't be too far away. I think it's maybe more in a path area. I don't think he would uh, go look down here. What was that? Is that the, uh, the bone tent? I think it is. Yeah, that's the bone tent.
Snake. Come on, there's two, there's a pirate dead up here. There has to be treasure in this area. Okay, shh, everyone be quiet. Don't believe me, I'll show you. Look, 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 look. The shoe and the bell. Okay, where is the dead person? The shit. Bell. Bell shoe. This must mean something. What does it mean? Okay, where did the dead person go? Come on now. Damn it. It was there, I promise. The skeleton with two swords. Very nice swords, too. Ah, where'd they go? I knew this was going to happen. That's the border up there. Okay, so that, yeah, okay, I passed here before. Damn it. Everything all messed up. We used to have like a some kind of a noise gate or something so that the dog sound some of them some of it would be dissipated um but i got rid of it because it was hurting my own voice not not my me personally but the sound the quality of my voice so i got rid of it Alright, well, I don't know where that one... Oh, oh. What's this? Okay, this is where the treasure is. Okay. 
No, I was here yesterday. Oh yeah, but I didn't have metal detector here. Yes, look at the mask. Treasure of value. We could have put more treasure boxes. Sorry, I had to take a bite of food. Still hungry. Sorry. Um, once again, we get to the portal. Uh, I just don't know. Don't know if it's worth the time to try and do this. There is our house, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There is Taipan house. Black rat. Yesterday I found that treasure chest completely by accident. No treasure chest over there by that pirate. I mean, pirates and treasure. Hand and glove. Oh, okay. Look at this. Uh huh. Yeah, distillery. Okay, so uh, on the map, of course, I'm going to know exactly where it is. Oh.
No. See, it's a bit uh, south of uh, La Capilla. It's a bit south of La Capilla. Okay. But this is perfect for the barman. He wants to make his uh, moonshine here, or whatever he's going to make. I don't know what sound that is. <laughs> like that? Ah. Yes. A pretty steep hill. This is steeper than the one I fell down the other day. Ah. Oh, time for a sip of tea. <laughs> well, lady, he spoke true. First, his words were making me angry, threatening me. De facto, you think I am? But after we sit down and talk, we speak true. One thing I know is that I am only the white lotus, that's it. I am no other lotus. I cannot be. I have been the white since I was very young. I don't even really remember what age I was. I do remember the first person I kill. Viceroy, city of Tianjin. Corrupt. Sing official. Okay, what is this? Oh, a house. Please don't tell me I've been here already today. So, is that the fucking artist house? Is that the Taipan house? Fuck! Yes, it is. Yeah, okay, this. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Well, I guess you can't blame City Boy for getting lost in jungle. Oh, a snake. Hello, snake. You, you thought you were going to sneak up on me, huh? <laughs> yeah, what do you think about that?
Maybe the snake was guarding the treasure. I don't know if I have music on, can I hear the click of the machine? Metal metal detector. God, Daddy. Yesterday when I found the treasure chest, I had music on. Well, you know, Shadows, it is, it is what it is, you know, even if uh, bad things happen in game, you know, you role play with it. You, you, you are confronted by decisions you got to make and maybe some tough ones, you know, Cole could go become unhinged and just go try and kill Kettleman, which he still might do someday <clears throat> when, it, when I decide to perma him most likely.
Snake, 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 snake. Where is he, snake? <laughs> Fucking snakes. What if two snake attack at the same time? Oh, the lemon field. Yeah, what can I get rid of? Nada. Why do I want lemons anyway? I don't know. I'm not gonna go moonshine making. I'm I, I'm getting really tired of trying to figure out the recipes because I can't figure shit out. Reward me a little bit for all this hard work, please. Just a teeny little bit. I can't believe Ko just bumped into Bailey like that, though. Uh oh. Kind of do wish that there were more. Monsters out here, though. Like a uh, cougar, panther. What what kind of animals in the jungle? Like this? Not. I don't think there would be lions. I wonder if they'll add them in later. that oh it's a pig why do the nights seem to last forever here should I kick you yeah that's right you run fucking pigs
Yeah, between the pigs and the donkeys. I don't know which one is worse. Snake. Snakes. Yeah, I don't care about the snake. They can't bite through my shoes anyway. I wonder if Guarmer's on the same time schedule as the crossing is. It seems to me that the days are short and the nights are long. Is that my music or is that a click? Okay. Wait, you don't know or you don't know no? It's a big difference. You say, I don't know. Okay, you don't know. I don't know no. That means you know. But you can't say it. Yeah, that's right. The little light. That's right. Nighttime, you can see it. Oh, what's this? That looks like something I need to shoot. Wow, that's what's nice. This one last little stick of dynamite he blows up knocks me on my ass. So what do y'all think about Ko's playlist, the songs? A lot different from Kaifeng. Kaifeng a little bit more Asian. Uh, kind of... Uh, Heavy on the drums. Ko was like heavy metal dude, but not. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna play heavy metal too much while I'm streaming because uh, it's too loud. Oh 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 oh! Come on, that that was a click. That was a click. No, just my stinking machine wobbling back and forth. Oh, this place. What? Wait. What is this place? Is it on fire? Treasure. There has to be treasure here. I'm not a patient man. Oh. Uh, I know that you can go down here. That is interesting. Oh, you can cook here. <laughs> I 
I heard hitting me. Okay, this is a nice hideaway, but uh, of course it's very easy to find. I mean, a smoking door in the middle of the jungle. What do you think? Why is it smoking? Oh, because of the yeah the cooking. Okay. Could have hidden it a little bit better. Oh. I don't know too much about Judas Priest. Uh, one of my favorite bands though was Metallica. I would do anything to see them in concert. Anything. I used to get up when I was a bar owner, I used to get up and sing um, Enter Sandman with my Filipino band. I'd get up there and I'd whip off my shirt and fling it into the crowd and get everybody hot and bothered. Back when I was a uh, halfway decent looking. Uh, of course, only after a lot of booze. I would love to see Metallica. I'd love to see U2 in concert. Hope you guys know who U2 is. You don't. Get out of here! Oh, this. But oh, someone is inside. Oh, strange. Look at this man. What has he been covered in something? Do this one. Yeah, I thought sure he has been. Looks like maybe dipped in the silver or something. Tar. Ah, oh, say. That's a terrible way to go. There are so many things in here that could provide some really good RP in Guarma. Just need the people here. There's not many people here yet. If there are, they're not coming out much. Like if there's a band of headhunters, oh my god, that'd be so cool. Yeah, it looked like he'd been dipped in silver or that silver poured over him or tar or something. It looks silvery to me. Yeah, wait, uh, the, uh, the headhunters are up here somewhere, somewhere close to here. Oh, this is one of my favorite co songs. Green Eagle. Hey, what are you doing, little guy? Oh, here it is. This is the, the headhunter people. The 
But the heads on the left go from rabbit to little, bigger, 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 big. Don't seek head out there, people. Like to make treasure. Great. Really, Maddie? Please don't do that. What kind of hammer is that? Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. No treasure! Did you die in vain? My dog's name, the little tiny one you hear barking once in a while, that's Maddie. Holy motherfucker! Oh, God, that scared the living shit out of me. How? Oh, I, I, every time a snake bites me, I get like a hot flash, it feels like. It's like a bolt of electricity, it runs right through my body. Okay. There's some more shit here. Lemons, a hand, severed hand. Cannonballs. I took these to bite out. Okay, good. Phew, I'm glad I uh, spent a lot of money for these boots. Got their hand on the skull. Stick through it. Shit. People are fucked up. Still no goddamn treasure.
Well, that's the place where they stayed for a little while. God damn, where am I? I wonder if I can go way up here. Can't go too much farther. Aye. Ah, the banana tree. Okay. If I bring any nothing else back to crossing, I can bring banana. Hey, fucker. Right in the face. Didn't even flinch hardly. Yeah, normally I wouldn't be playing this kind of music at this time when, he's n when nothing's really going on. But uh, I'm kind of going through the playlist too to see if any of the songs or any problems or whatever. I think uh, Ko's main group is uh, his main genre, not genre, but. Um, the main band that's behind most of his music is a band called Blue Steel. Oh, excuse me. God damn it, I have too much sheet. What do you mean when they drink water? Oh, the the opposite arm is hang straight down.
Mm. Oh, he's, oh, I do have enough money to get a ticket home, but maybe I should go check out the mine. Get a pickaxe. I don't want to do any mining. Which means he got 62. It's not a lot of mining though. I'm gonna give it a try so you can find a gem. Ooh, is this the border? Shit. Oh, get banana all the way up here. Wow. Oh, jasmine tea is so dang good. I love it. Okay, be very careful here. Oh, that's the cigar bar.
I like the way they they're doing the bandaging up now. It's pretty cool. So pretty short, but I like it. It's a cool song. This is called Ole by Blue Steel. I think I need to buy pickaxe so shit I got too much shit on me okay, yeah go to my locker whoa shit motherfucker yeah take that right up the ass It's good.
Dang. I have nothing I can get rid of. Okay, the little pigs get you uh, game meat, though. Fuck. I should take a trip to the barber. See uh, what the new uh, hairstyle look like. Where are you getting on us? If I can kill a goat, sell it for meat. Holy shit. You don't run. to go run tell the militia shit of the bananas, I guess.
Uh, two, okay. 78 dollar. Maybe I can get another. But more, and I, I will have enough money to get back home. If that is what I'm going to do. So I have not made up my mind yet. There he is. Sorry about your goat. You speak English? What about the Chinese? Do you speak Chinese? Uh, no, I, no, I'm not sure what you're saying, but uh, What's your Thank you. Every little thing help, even you little guy. Fucking <laughs> flies. Oh, oh, that's a militia man. Wonder what a gunfight with the militia would it look like. Little bit tempting. Let's see what these guys are made of. Oh, this is the barber shop. Oh, look at the barber shop is protected by two uh, big cannons. Ah. Oh, this must be very good barber. I must give him a try. Yeah, if you could uh, uh, Darken my beard up a little bit and my hair. Give me a Chinese style hair. Let's see what it looks like. Oh no. Shit. Really? 
Fuck, I got to take off my hat. Okay, it looked the same, but maybe I need to go get the pomade. Okay, how do I tell when it's black? That's black. That black? Six or okay, back to my original head. Okay, let's go to general store to how do I get out of here? Get some uh, the pomade. Oh, good, you're back! This is a perfect place for snakes to hide. I don't like that the dog barking in the distance, but I like my hair. Good. Ha ha ha! it looks like with my hat. Okay. Oh, I forgot to get to. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, eat this one. I'm not even hungry, but... It feels good. Like it should be. Everything in the right place, not blowing around in the wind. Oh shit. That was the wrong place. Uh, the gun oil is so much better than it used to be. Yeah, go tell the militia what are they going to do. doesn't care. Sure. Oh, shit. Hey, you guys are all talk. Teaching us a lesson here in Guarma. What the fuck? You guys don't even care if your goats are shot and stolen. Is this Vasquez anyway? Some idiot. Lose a water, maybe. Oh, he's uh, angry about it. Oh no. Damn it. There we go.
<laughs> oh my god. Space is going to be such a hard issue here. I mean, I have enough. I don't need to go mining, but... I'm going to leave my uh, storage here, though, I think. <laughs> I'll need to take this gun instead of this one. Maybe I can sell these tobacco. Let's go try. Actually... This is going to take a while. This is opium tobacco leaves, made in China. The tobacco has been dipped in opium already. So, just need to crush them up. If you want to roll it in paper, you can do this, or you can use pipe. Whatever you prefer. I think I'm going to give it a new name, though. What do you think of the name Copium? Cause Opium. Yeah, my storage is here. No, but I think I'm going to leave the storage here. I mean, he's going to be coming back. And there's, I mean, there's really, there's no horses, nothing here. You can't store anything anywhere except for in your pockets. And that's not enough. Especially if you have a good gun, a rifle, only bring it out when you want to. But where are you going to put it? It's possible that someday he might want to make this home, but... Eh. Is that black, though? I don't know if that's black. I don't think it is.
Okay, so $20 haircut. You did a shit job on these. You no, know, my hair is black, but a little bit gray. Now look at it. I don't even know what color it is now. What? Oh no, really? There we go. See, now that's the color you're supposed to have it. Don't tell anyone you dye it though, okay? There we go. Better. Kind of. Boom, boom. Oh no. Oh yeah, okay, get rid of the for a minute. Thank you, lady. Going to run over to the piracy of anyone. It's uh, over there now.
Hey, ya! Nobody here! Come on! Well, I guess I need to smoke another bowl then. Maybe by the time I finish, someone will come. That's a cool picture. Uh, it makes sense for Ko to have his uh, hair cut like this too if he's returning to China. Even though technically it's not the right haircut, he'd have to have the top of his head shaved as well. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, I wish I was there. It's gorgeous. You know, the... Not a whole lot to do in Guarma, really. I think there will be soon, someday, but right now, no, not so much. But my god, it's so beautiful. It feels real, almost. You can almost smell the sea salt. Really wish somebody would come over to the bar though. We could have a little RP.
How cool was it to bump into uh, a barman earlier? Played by... Uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh, I forget his name. Good RP here, though. Look, my dogs even agree. Oh, Mythomatic. That's his name, Mythomatic. What was it? From shit, where was it? Damn it. From here? Yeah. No. Hmm, where was it? That's the problem with me. Oh, did I put my pickaxe away? Did I buy one? Fuck, my memory. Oh. 
There we go. Uh, fuck you, doggy. You're you're the most dangerous thing here in the Garba. All right, let's try the mines a little bit. See what I can find. Snake. Banana tree, good. Okay, so how else we'll get to the mine? It made my stomach sink a little bit. There it is. <laughs> I 
Lint. And we get Flint. Yay. More flint. Wonderful. Oh, they got a piece of coal. Okay. Tabanchang 
能不能够抵上啊？你要想给家人，不要嫁给别人，就能嫁给我。拿着一碗钱菜，带着你的妹妹，跟着马车来。That's an old Chinese folk song. Means uh. The streets of Daban City are straight and flat. The watermelon are very sweet. There's a girl that lives there with really long hair. Does her braid reach the ground? I will bring you a bowl of treasure. You, Chi Wan Chen say, and you bring your little sister, <laughs> and together we will ride away on the horse carriage. It's called the horse carriage song. A thunderstorm. Let's go, Emerald. Come on, up out. I see you there. I'll get enough to reach a hundred dollars, just in case I decide to go over crossing tonight, which I don't know if I will. Probably won't. But I really wish there were more people around in Guarma. Eight, six, fourteen dollars. Yes, I could make torches, but so for those of you just tuning in, this is Koshinga Jung. Long-time character of Across Saints Crossing, Wild RP. Um, earlier today, or yesterday, he was riding a donkey up the hills, kind of over where the bar is on the beach, and the uh, donkey decided to throw him off a cliff. It wasn't a cliff, it was just a little hill. Not even steep, but somehow I knocked myself out, and I stayed there until this morning, uh, and then later around... On the beach for another three or four hours, I think, before uh, the barman, played by Mythomatic, came by and helped him up. And uh, we had an interesting time. He's really into, he wants to make a moonshine or figure out a new recipe for something to deliver to the crossing. Which, uh, you know, I'll mule, I'll mule for him if he needs. But um, 
as we were getting ready to uh, head up somewhere, two members of Taipan, well, one member first and then later two, Bai Li and uh, Bei Long, stopped by. Which was good. And uh, we had a talk which answered some of Ko's questions. Um, he was feeling threatened at first. <laughs> but after a nice long chat, uh, some questions were resolved. I hope that um, the eventual meeting with Zhang Wei, who's played by a top Derek Mountain, um, goes well. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. He's still contemplating a few things. But um, as long as Zhang Wei... Basically, Ko's willing to be punished for his whatever you want to call it. It's not disobedience. Basically, face it's basic. It was basically just a uh, standing up to him in front of all of Taipan, which made him lose face, which in China is huge. Uh, Ko is a little bit less. That's not so important to him anymore. But um, he understands it. And of course, his argument, basically, even though he wouldn't say this, is that Zhang Wei made him lose face at a certain meeting we had back when the Black Lotus were hunting Taipan. Anyway, uh, so if Zhang Wei is able to apologize in some way to him, he will do the same and accept whatever punishment he's given. If he doesn't, I don't know. I don't know. What will I do? I could bite him like a dog. I could shoot him in the gut. I could take my medicine and forget all about it. Mm. I'm a little disappointed in the, in the Phelong. He had very few words to say. After I volunteered my own head to take his, if the Jongwei required it, he said nothing about this. Little matter at all. And I don't want to run the gun shop anymore. I don't want to do the Emporium anymore. I find something different. Opium, yes. I will continue to do opium. I am the first distributor of opium in the crossing. Long before anyone even knew what it was, I was there. I just wish there was a way I could stop having to import the opium. I brought a lot with me from China on this trip, but it won't last forever. Uh, things in China, not good. Now that the boxers have uh, been scattered to the four winds, new rebellion is forming. Led by Sun Yat-sen, Southern Man. 
I met him while I was there. Well, not when I was there, but in Hong Kong. He is not allowed to go into China. This man had a revolutionary ideas. Talking... At first I thought it was nonsense. Talking about raising the people up. All of them. Not from the cities or from the proletariat. The Laobaixin. The commoners. And uh, giving away land for free. This too was... Uh, this is where I checked myself and uh, realized this man is very wise. Who would not fight for land? Your own land. I don't know of a common person who would not do this. Of course, this probably means that the rich will suffer. But perhaps they should. Perhaps they should. The riches are passed down from one generation to the next. Rarely ever helping the common people. I'm going to mine 20 flint. And then I stop. If there is no gem that come out, then fuck this mine. Already, Mr. Sun has led uh, a few rebellions of his own, but they all failed. But he has money, and he has the support, and he has very good ideas. This will be a very long fight, I believe. How to train the Lao Bai Xing to become a warrior? That will be very difficult.
Okay, last one. Then we go. Yeah, Alright, fuck this mine. And fuck this little walkway too. Ay ya, ay ya ya. Mama. Ugh. Almost hit my head. Okay, which way do I go now? This way? No, don't fall down. Okay, good. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's very slippery here. Yeah, no. Fuck it. I'm not. I'm not doing. No, no. Call. Get smart. We would be lying down there for days and days. There's almost nobody here in Gorma. Okay, I have enough for a ticket hope. Ugh. Wonder if I shoot one of your goats now, will you care? Probably.
How did you know? Hey, yeah. Soldiers are always uh, hanging out uh, by the gun, the little tidy, stupid gun shop here. Sells a cattleman for like 70 something dollars. Carbine repeater for uh, 170, or I don't know. It's very expensive. Most well protected barber shop in the entire world, I think. Okay, right, too far. No, not far enough.
All right, guys, I'll be right back. I need to make some hot water for my tea. Um, won't take me a few minutes. I'll be right back.
Oh, whoops. Almost back, almost back. Okay, I'm back. Let's take a look at the bar again, if anyone is around. You know what, fuck it, I'm going to go to the gun shop here. See what these fucking soldiers do. Yeah, thanks for standing in my way, you motherfucker. Yeah, 125. Okay, 125, 175. Hey. No shotgun ammo. 
Only rifle and a uh, handgun. Yeah, can you get out of my way? They don't look very tough. No. Yeah, still no one is around. Uh. Oh, look at this green mask.
this would be a good place for opium den, actually. Not really a den, but... Uh, Oh, what's that? What am I doing? Scratching my ass? Yeah, oh. <laughs> what the hell? Is a new seating sitting thing? Terrible sitting thing. Grooming. <laughs> Drinking beers on the beach. Not so bad. To all the shit I have been through, maybe settle down here, live a peaceful life. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. Even at 50 years old, I can't seem to settle down. Can you picture me being father, husband, grandfather? <laughs> I don't think so. I prefer the Try Daddy Tuesdays. Two large women in the Jade the Dragon. Why not? I could use a bath though. Stream close up. Okay, well, 
I guess not many people are in Guarma right now. Hope this is not the uh, lizard soup. Well, I'll tell you what, if you live here for a long time, maybe I get in a better shape. Okay, maybe get some better sea legs too. Is that fuck me? Are you my uh, is that Emily?
give it a nice surprise. That's you, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you doing here? Did you know I was here? Ah, oh, 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 oh. hey, you got stronger. Yes, I heard people talking in the, in the, in the telegram station that you were around here. Oh, shit, who was talking? I'm not met to... It's Emily Morgan. Oh, Morgan. Morgan Lee. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is why I have not seen him uh, here, I guess, today. Yeah, I saw him yesterday. And, uh, yes. I saw Bailey in the Feilong and another met the barman from uh, Van Horn. Yeah, also, they are here. I got here yesterday. Uh, I spent the night uh, on the bottom of a cliff. This place is, uh, let me tell you, the most dangerous thing is the donkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the donkeys. You're riding a donkey? Yeah, there's quite a few donkeys, uh, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they are special trained. Because uh, this donkey, it, uh, instead of turning right, uh, it decided to throw me off in, the, in, a, in a, not a cliff, but uh, a little hill. And uh, I must have bumped my head in the soft sand and uh, went unconscious. And not a good way to spend the night. He's cold. Yeah, he's, well, you, for you, you are the most uh, uh, accident uh, person uh, I have ever met, so you have to be very careful here. Well, especially it is somewhere in a cast. <laughs> oh, now, oh shit, now what did you do? It's still from that injury, from the Black Lotus. It never fully healed, so I had to get surgery on it. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, my wounds this are... This time they said it's fully gonna heal. Oh, that's good. Yeah, well, let me uh, show you around a little bit. Here, this is where you buy a return ticket home. You take it to booth. Do you need labels? Do I need? Uh, no, I don't have much space. Uh, actually, I have no space at all right now. Uh, uh -huh. why, why, you want to get rid of the labels? There's a lady here who sells them. Yes. Uh, okay, now see the... Too many labels. <laughs> see this soldier man here? Yes. Yeah, they are part of a militia. They rule this island. Um... They say with the iron fist, but I have not seen. You can shoot a goat right in front of them, and they don't care. So I don't know. Maybe they're tired. Hola. Yeah, hey, hey, get away from me. Now, this is gun shop. Come look at the gun shop uh, prices. Wow. Yeah. 75 for a cattleman. 125 for a carbine. Crazy. If there were a lot of people here, it would be good business to bring guns here. But uh, shit, I have not seen hardly anybody except for the people I named earlier. Yeah, so this is the town. Most of it appears to be destroyed. There is a butcher at the end of this street, uh, the butcher, and over here is the barber and the tailor. I tell you, this barber here is the most well-defended barber in the entire world, I think. Uh, yeah, see this tent over here? That is, uh, I don't know what it is, actually. A lot of good fruit there, though. 
Yeah, here you can find a banana, you can find a lot of sugar cane. Um, okay, yeah, here. Uh, uh, yeah, look. The Baba shop is de defended by two cannon. Very nice cannon, too. This man is very defended. Yeah, if I could fire this one, it would destroy that sheep. And then over here is the tailor shop. If you want to uh, get into something uh, more uh, suitable for jungle, you can change. You know. Yeah, what did you bring with you? Anything of importance? I bought binoculars, a rifle, a handgun. Okay, what kind of rifle? Is it normal? Lancaster. Okay, a normal one? Is any modification? Uh, just a normal uh, rifle. Okay, yeah, looks it's normal. Yeah. Okay. So, not a big loss in case you get into accident or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, come this way. I'll show you a little bit more. Now, down the street here, actually, you know what? Let's go over to the bar. Replica of it, so if I lose it, I have replica. Okay. Yeah, as far as the wildlife here, not too much to worry about. The snakes, a lot of snake, and the donkey, and the oh, and the wild pig too. These guys are, are quite dangerous. Got into a kicking fight with three of them yesterday, and they almost took me out. Uh, I found a one. Yeah, well, it was charging me, so I kicked it right in the snout. I would have loved to say that. Yeah. Yeah, you probably would have laughed. I kicked one, and the other one came charging right at me. Hey. Oh, look, yeah, there's bananas here. I think this tree right here, if you want to uh, grab a banana. Yeah, right here. Be a little bit careful here. Yeah, so here there are no horses, so everywhere you go, you have to walk or uh, run or ride a donkey. But I will not ride a donkey here again. Well, if it knocked you out. Well, I think it's a special train. I think it... Because I was clearly telling it to go in one direction, and he decided to go opposite. And then, just whoop, there I went, slid right off his back, he ran away. I don't think they like uh, certain, well, anyone they are not used to, I don't think they like them. I don't know. Well, I mean, they are little, and you are a big man. 
Let me troll. So this is the bar restaurant, I guess. It's some decent stool. I don't know if it's made of lizard meat or something else, but it's not too bad. And also, of course, uh, they have the rum here. It's a... Uh, it yeah, this is what I hear. If, if it was possible to bring back a large amount, this would be good business, but uh, you can only bring uh, a very a very small amount back. This will make the price extremely expensive. You hungry? Yeah, a little bit. Let's, let's go down to the end of the pier. I'm going to get a uh, more. I don't mind this room, it's not too bad. I think before too in the crossing when they I guess oh shit, I got the stools instead. Could you get two bottles of a rum? I have no more space. Got it. Yes. Oh, when it rains, it rains very hard here. Maybe. Oh, look, you can cook here. That's nice. Well, cheers. Oh, I can't. I have no space. Okay. Cheers, Tom. Gun to be. Yeah, get ready for a kick. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, it's quite a bit different than the it was before. I think because it's pure. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's a, but I like it. It's a very pleasing sensation. It is. Uh, much better than the. Uh, the uh, what do they call it? The multi no, the moonshine. <coughs> yeah, I like it. It's not bad. Wow, look at this. Earlier today, you, I tell you, I meet uh, Bai Li and uh, Fei Long. What did they have to say? At first, there were threats uh, directed at me. For a so-called mistake. But uh, we ended up sitting down and talking it uh, through. I told them... Uh, my side of the story that uh, 
Oh, this rum makes me feel fat. Well, I tell them my side of story, and uh, we came to um, well an arrangement and agreement, I guess. It was good to see both of them. But uh, one thing about he told me that is uh, true. And perhaps I forget. We choose the Zhang Wei to be the boss. Because he is different. Because he would not agree with the methods that uh, myself and the Bai Li would use. That uh, is what uh, we need uh, for longevity. For the one Sui, 10,000 years. If it was up to Baili and myself, we would be a gang just like Kettleman, just like uh, the Chenzos, just like. Uh, any other stupid Lawai Yeeha gang. These words make sense to me. Sure, I made a few mistakes. And so did the Zhang Wei. So I told him. Not to tell Zhang Wei this report, but that I would meet with him and accept whatever is to come. But uh, not to tell Zhang Wei this part that I too expect an apology. He questioned my loyalty, he questioned my motives. The one person, me and the Bai Li, one of the two people he should never ever fucking question. This really is the root of uh, the big problem between me and the Zhang Wei. After giving my blood, my own flesh, my time, my body, my resources, everything I have given, and he dared to question me. This, if he does not uh, make some statement for this, I'm not sure what I will do. But, um, I even told Baili that I was thinking, perhaps, about the cha making challenge to Zhang Wei. But that is why I leave uh, for China, because this is not the smart move. I needed to get away. And also I needed to help Taipan while I was there. I found Mr. Zhang Zhidong and gave him the report of uh, what happened. Which, according to Bai Li, everything is fine now. From what I hear, yes, it is. Despite stepping out of St. Denis yet. I've heard. I keep my ears to the ground. I'm a good listener. They forget. Everybody forgets that I'm good at getting information. Well. I guess we shall see what uh, what comes next. And perhaps Zhang Wei will come here we can meet. I would prefer it this way. This is a good meeting spot. It calms the soul. Even right here. If I stay here, this is a good place to make a little opium den, I think. Oh, I still, I still have your own opium. 
I have new opium now. New name, everything. What's it called? Copium. Copium? Yes, it calls opium. I don't want to use more beef. This stuff is a little bit more pure. Ah, yes, it's good. Little bit more pure. Little bit more strong. It's straight from China. You're okay on money, right? Oh, yeah. And I leave all my money here in the the bank. Okay, good, because I brought a little money with me to Guama. Yeah, here you don't need much. Except for to get ticket home, it's $100. I brought 142. Uh, I opened up a locker space here. So I think I will keep it here. And if I need to move it later, I will move it. But uh, for now, I think it's good for me to keep a uh, little storage here. Who knows what... Maybe, I'll put, maybe I'll put my storage here too for now. Oh, you emptied it out? I get, I get, yeah, I, brought, I took it out of St. Denis the day you left. Oh. I saw you leave. Oh, you did? I didn't say anything because I, I knew you were in the mood. Yeah. Yeah, I was. And uh, honestly, up until I talked to Bai Li and the Feilong, I was always in this mood. Of course, uh, I don't think you recognized me because I was in a disguise. You kind of gave a nod, but I don't think you knew who it was me. Well, that's good that you can disguise yourself so uh, well. Yeah, I kind of put my hair like a, one of those updos that have the braids in the back. Mm. That those Chinese ladies do. I see a lot of tea ladies do that. It actually looks really nice on them. Tea ladies. You would mean the sing song lady. You know, it's like, a, it's like um, the updo that has the braids in the back of the head that I see. The oh, like, do. like mine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this yeah, was this was braided and cut in the China. The back. Yeah. I had to wear a hat the whole time because they refused to shave the top of my head. You would look weird. No offense. It's just that I'm so used to seeing you with that hairdo. So it would be weird to see you with a different hairdo. That's well, why. But in China, they have no choice. Yeah, you yeah, look I'm strange or look good. I don't know. I've never seen a man with this uh, hairstyle that look good. Not once. But they force it upon us. But I believe, I believe that uh, change is coming. China soon. I met a man in the Hong, Hong Kong. His name is Sun Yat-sen, a southern man. He's a revolutionary. He believes that the power should be in the people's hands. Part of his plan is to give away land for free to every Lao Bai Xiu, a commoner. At first I laughed at his ideas, and then I started to think about it. This man, he has the money, he has uh, contacts all across the world. Many people support him. He's young, he's good looking, he's charismatic, gives a good speech. And yet he wants to take the land and uh, divvy it up to all the Lao Baishu. This is a revolutionary idea. 
Already he has tried to lead rebellions in the Guangzhou and the other cities. Each time though, later fail. Qing is still too powerful. They may be powerful now, but if more people start rising like him... Oh, I'm sure it will happen. Uh, we have had many rebellions in the past against the Qing. And uh, some were able to get hundreds of thousands of followers, like the uh, Yellow Turban Rebellion. Uh, but they failed too. No matter what, it will be slow. It will be long time and coming. But uh, he gave me a little bit of hope, I think. Maybe one day, a Chinaman can walk down the streets with his head held high with any kind of hairstyle he like. I'm sure it'll happen. It'll just take time. Those kind of things just take time. Yeah. Time, money, blood, lots and lots of blood. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah, while I was away, I thought about uh, asking Wang Chong Er, the head of the Lotus Society, if I could start my own society but when i faced her and we give the, we have a talk i decided not even to ask i'm sure she would have granted it but i've always been white and i will always be white no matter what come yeah Ever since I was little boy, not a, uh, I don't know, don't even remember how old I was, 12 or 13. Even remember the first person I killed. Viceroy in the section of Tijin, corrupt as they come. Killed him with a, a poison knife. That is how we were initiated in the old days. Honestly, I never thought about leaving the Lotus. Yes, it's true. I kind of stepped away from Taipan, but I never thought of even the Lotus Society. I don't hate Taipan either. I got mad at them, but I never once hate them. Why did you get angry? I felt they turned their backs on me. Except for Fei Long. He did check in with me ever so often. Bali, I can excuse because he was hurt for a while. Nick Muffin, I don't know what to think about him, honestly, if I'm honest with you. He's a hungry man. Not only in the stomach, uh, but with ambition. Yeah. These people, and, if and you use... I don't, I, don't, I don't hate him either, but he's just, I just don't know what to think of him. Yeah, just to find your niche. Like any other company, organization. And stick to it. And fuck the rest. Even now, I don't hate them. 
Not long ago, I even talked to them. It was actually nice. I even admitted that I got mad. Yeah, it's the way he could still have half of my head if he wishes. I have offered it to him twice. I don't think it will come to this, but who knows? Yeah. As long as he says something about his statements to me that day, well, I had pus pouring out of my stomach, pulling on the ground. As long as he addresses what he say to me as wrong, and then all is forgotten. What are you doing? What you said you were knocked down. You had to oh, the yeah, yeah, no, 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 it was all soft sand, not even a rock in the way, just a soft sand, like a feather mattress. It felt like I was flo uh, floating, just rolling down the hill, very nice and easy, but for uh, some reason, yeah, I get a knockout. Just make it show. You want to try some of this new opium? Yes. Oh, I see the cast on your arm. Hmm. Is it painful? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's painful. They gave me morphine, and I still have some of it, but I don't want to take the morphine. Can you see any injuries under me? No. Okay. Well, I don't know if uh, I'm going to return tomorrow or the next day if I stay here for a little while. I'm not sure. I'm just going to, uh, as they say, uh, walk by the seat of my pants. And to see where it go. I tell you what though, I'm not going to run the gun shop anymore. I'm not going to run the Emporium either. I am still interested in, uh, in opium, of course. But I hear that uh, Mitsuhide actually is uh, betrayed by the Lotus. Yeah, he went to the black, gave them all kinds of information, and he even, uh, here, look at this. Whoa, shit, you okay? Yes, I was stuck. Look at that, he gave me this. The only way he can get this, if he's a member of the Black Lotus, give it to him or he take it. I think I would like to see him. You know where he is? No, but... I know for a while... There was a woman that was asking me questions. 
she was a local woman and he was hanging out with this Kaifeng guy. Oh, uh, okay. But I already mentioned this Kaifeng earlier too. He's uh, trying to sell guns here in the Guarma or something. I don't know who else is hanging with. Hmm. Well, if he did uh, betray the White Lotus. They were trying to get information at me. I don't know he was trying to get information at me, but this woman was. Well, if he did betray, then I will have to shoot him, kill him. It's a wonder thing to be a member. He was not a member, I know. But if he... Oh, shit, yeah, he... he wasn't a member, but I know he was sympathetic to them. Did he tell you some things? He said... Or he, he didn't say necessarily, but he seemed like he was sympathetic towards them. Being sympathetic to the black is like being sympathy to the sheriff's department. I don't hate them, I don't like them either. I know if they come snooping around it means bad, bad things follow. To fight them is as useful as fighting the law here in the Saints Crossing. Or there in Saints Crossing. It does not make any sense. But, of course, you must protect your people, your interest, if they are hurting. You have to do what you have to do. I agree. But he is my toady. My student. That is uh, where I draw the line. I taught him many things. And if he... Thinks that he can take all of that, uh, throw it away by helping the. It's the same thing as talking to the sheriff's department, but worse because with the black you do not uh, go to jail. You do not have trial. They uh, think you are uh, guilty. Uh, they will kill you. That's it. Exactly. So by him, if he did help them, then this means he could have gotten any one of us, including myself and you, killed. Even if he has good reason, this cannot be accepted. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know if he helped them or not. I have no idea. Try to find out uh, where he is, if you could. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's no post office here, though, so it might be difficult. Yeah. Shit, I bet I have a hundred telegram waiting for me in the crossing. Yeah, I'm sure. I know while you were gone, I did send you a few, but it was only updates. Stuff like I miss you and things like that. Updates on me. Uh, yeah. But I'm sure you have, you have many others from other people, I'm sure. Yeah, I got uh, a few telegram uh, in China, but the, I think the clerks uh, could have, well, they had a big difficulty to, to translate it. They try to take it from English to Chinese, and, uh, well, <laughs> I don't even remember yeah. what he say. I told the telegram office to say, well, just send me a sign that was sent there. You don't have to translate it. He'll understand. Eventually, I had to tell him that. Well, yeah. Said, Here. Uh, they tried to tell me yes. They just nodded finally. <laughs> 
Yeah, then it's one thing when it gets to China, then uh, translate that message. Here, I'm sure nobody in the post office uh, can do this. So, uh, as they say, lost in a translation. <clears throat> I had to tell him I know he's not going to be able to reply just tell me that it got sent did they, did they uh, tell you? yes yes they gave me a sign that it at least got sent I wasn't expecting a reply I knew how it worked. I just wanted a sign that it got sent. Yeah. Well, if you find out uh, where he is somehow, you let me know. Yeah. That hurt here, I probably won't be able to find out much, but when we go back, I might be able to find out more. Yeah, when we go back, that is question. I think I would like to stay here for a few days, maybe, maybe I longer. I found the one uh, treasure I chest. I don't know. I spent the night uh, last night right over there, uh, right where I'm looking. You see that little hill at the bottom of that hill? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where I sleep last night. No, it's terrible. What are you talking about? I slept worse. Hey, sure, yeah, but uh, when you're on a, a paradise island like this, you expect a little bit of uh, comfort. Yeah, yeah. My ex-husband had us sleeping on rocks when he was on the run. Yeah, you have to do what you have to do, I guess. That's true. I wasn't complaining, but... Well, maybe we go look for a place. Yeah. I found a lot of places. A lot of places. Now, I don't even remember where they are, but... Uh, let's think for a second. I know there's places along the beach up this way. There are places uh, that way too. But I believe that is where the militia is. I found a letter. My man named Vasquez. I am focused on you. Huh? What? You are focused. My are focused on you. Is, is this like a, some kind of song or something? Is it better? <laughs> it better? Uh, do this, do this, okay? Focus, focus uh, many, many times, very quickly. You understand? Is it better? No, you. I think you still focus on me. I focused on you. Yeah, just really, really quickly. Focus, 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 focus. Okay, that's better. Okay. Let's go up this way a little bit. I know someone is staying there. 
a nice place. I don't think they would mind if we stay there, but... Can go take a look. Well, I didn't mean it that way. I'm just staying. I see you down here. Well, we could follow these torches here. See where they go. I forget. Yeah, there are places here. There's a boat you can take to very far across a, a bay. Uh, across this bay. I think it's a place built for defense and uh, taking prisoners. Many cages right on top of the ocean. Yeah, many dead prisoners there. Maybe somebody got in a fight over treasure. Well, I found one treasure box. Chest. Uh, this place sucks. Ugh. Maybe somebody got in a fight over what they thought was treasure and it turned out not to be treasure. That's possible. I found a one treasure chest. He had a $16 um, little bit of tobacco. And uh, one of moonshine inside it. Okay, yeah, see, up, way up there on top of the hill is a place. Maybe we can go there. Oh, yeah. Oh, down there, that is the uh, gambling. So, like a casino? Yeah. And uh, further down, I believe it's some kind of restaurant. There are many tables and a chair. Okay, let's uh, be careful here. Yeah, it is quite nice. Keep an eye out for uh, little slippery areas. Yeah, here, when you're walking through the jungle, really, there is almost nothing to fear except for the land itself and the wild boar and the snake. I have not seen any other kind of animal. Maybe a frog, I saw a rat or two. <coughs> Maybe some bats. So really, if you want to go uh, traveling around, uh, look at your map and pick a spot and try and head in that direction. Okay. Just to be careful of a cliff. And when you get to the edge of Guarma, the border, um, there are guards there that will push you back. Very, very roughly. Very sneaky, these guards. That you can't really see them very well. They spring out of a bush and push you back very hard. They're hiding something. Yeah, I think so. On the other side, where we can't get to, there must be something happening. Yeah, this is not bad. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, nice chair. Yeah, from here you can watch the sun set. See, 
See, this is nice. I hope it's built well. So from here, if you wanted to go back to the town, what direction would you go? East? Uh, which way is east? <laughs> To my, to my, no, to your left or to your right. Land. That's right, yep. Okay, you have another rum? Yes. Yeah, maybe I have one drink and then I might uh, go to sleep. Been a long day. Yeah, there's a stool for you. Thank you. Oh, look, way out there you can see an island. Let's have another cheers. All right. Can be. Yeah. That's such a nice feeling. Yeah, the whole world is moving from very high up. I don't know, maybe that was not such a good idea. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe not. From this high up. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Dim Bombi. Oh no, oh no. Mm. Oh, oh, I almost threw up. Okay, it's alright. I'm feeling better, I think. Just don't look down. Maybe if, maybe if you throw up, go into the trees. Don't yeah. fall. Yeah, no, I think it pass. I just, I just want to look down while these... Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah, don't look down. It's a nice bed. Ah. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. oh no. Oh, the chair is so far away. That's really scary. I'm okay. You alright? I'm okay. That tastes very good. Just maybe being this high up, that wasn't a good idea. Yeah. Oh. Hey, look, there's a firewood here if you need it. A kettle. For some... something. Looks like a little stove. I forgot. Yeah. What? Why are you looking so short? I don't know. I think I shrunk. And I think you got tall. <laughs> yeah, that's what good Chinese food will do to you. <laughs> a month of a good Chinese food. You turned into a giant. I turned into a midget. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. Feeling a little bit better. Yeah, I think I am too. I'm not collapsing anymore. Okay. Yeah, okay. Better. Wow. Uh, I like this drink, though. I just won't drink it uh, when... When we're this high up over the ground. Yeah, next time. On the ground, I drink. Yes, yes. Maybe lower to the... Yeah. Maybe not this high here. Okay, I need to uh, put my head down, I think. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'll be around tomorrow. 
Uh, maybe a little bit later in the day, but uh, I'll be around. Okay. Good to see you, Emily. It is good to see you too, Kyle. Yeah. Uh, much to do in the upcoming days. Yes, yes, indeed. Go ahead and take the bed. I'll uh, sleep right here in this chair. It's nice. I like it. Yes, it's very nice. All right, I will. All right. Good night. When I'm... Oh, wait, wait. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later. Oh, okay. I messed something up on my OBS, but I'll fix it tomorrow. I'll be back on tomorrow, and uh, this upcoming week will be on quite a bit. So, thanks everybody. See you soon.